Legendary tier list. That's it. <laughs> that's it. Just legendary tier list. That's it. Yep. So, yep. That's that's all. That's that's uh, any. That's all everybody needs to know. All right. So basically, this tier list is going to go competitive singles. Maybe in a year or two. No, no, no. What I <laughs> in two years <laughs> we're gonna do doubles. <laughs> yeah. Two two years. Yeah. And and then there will also be some procrastination. I'm removing the E tier just so we know. Or just so you know. No. I already removed it too bad. F tier is Why? Because we have F tier. There's about I'm to be a just, lot of just little just little. rename F to E, because I don't think any legendaries Oh uh, wait, no, Fiona exists. Never mind. Cosmog? Oh yeah, those exist too. <laughs> All right. yep. Anyways, before we go with Dabble to Gen 7, uh, we're gonna start with Gen 1. We have five legendaries. Yeah, let's just go in order. Yeah. I mean, I have every Pokemon organized in national text order. <laughs> so... Yep. I, I spent the time organizing this tier list in national decks order. And no, so you didn't. Yeah, I did. Oh, you did? Yeah, I actually did. Took me 24 Man, minutes. Man, look at this no life. I had nothing to do for like 20 minutes. Anyways. That's fair. We had Articuno. We have Articuno. Now, normally, I would rank Articuno <laughs> like somewhere here. But Scarlet and Violet recently has this thing popping off in doubles. But this isn't doubles, this is singles. So I would put it high D tier, <laughs> low C tier. Uh, yeah, D. Yeah, uh, yeah, D, and it's the worst one. Just ice to. Ice I disagree. Is not a good typing. Ice isn't a good typing, but I disagree with it being the worst bird. Well, Zapdos is the best. Oh, Zapdos is. Can we just? Can we just? Can we just do that? No, that's your personal bias. But but also, if we go to Team Builder. No, no you can go. You can use other stuff. You, like, you can't put regular Zapdos in A tier when Galarian exists. Oh yeah, true. What tier is- oh, G Galarian Zapdos and single sucks. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah? Let me go to National Dex Ubers and let's see what they put Zapdos as. Oh, oh you. Now look at the uh, other one. Yu Yu. Yeah, but it's still better. How so? Galarian Zapdos is... I, I still think Galarian Zapdos is a little better. I mean, I like both Zapdos. I've barely used and either of the Zapdos competitively. I know Zapdos is mainly good on Braindance teams with Hurricane, and it's just... And I believe Thunder as well, because it's Thunder's yeah. rain, right? Yeah, but also... Otherwise, he's complete garbage. Eh. You know, like, if he's not on a Raindance team, he can't really do anything. Well, like, his stats are not... You know, they're, they're not the best. Like, uh, I mean, these, this is actually a really good uh, stat... That's like, good, but, stat like... Distribution. And plus, also, we can have... Like, he can be, like, a light screen, reflect user, if you wish. He, they can use Roar... Whirlwind, U-Turn, Toxic. This is a Stalimon, if you wish. This thing's got a lot of purpose. Yeah. Plus, he can uh, baton pass. All right. No, I got I got your uh, reason for making it a uh, B tier. I'm fine with B tier. Like okay. I'd say, then like, I have your reason for making it like C tier because why don't you go look at that shiny? Uh, I'm not <laughs> Yeah, like very high no. B tier or low A tier. No, it's um, mid B tier. It's it's not right. you're, you're going too high because you gotta yeah, think fair. ahead. Like there's way better legendaries. Like Giratina, I'd say that's an A tier, but then it like like it gets then what's S tier, right? You know. Well, S tier is just Arceus. <laughs> no, and Zacian, and honestly, Zamazenta. Oh yeah, no, know? Zamazenta like, definitely got boot buffed, but let's not talk about Zamazenta right now. Let's talk about Moltres. Let's let's continue with Moltres is the worst. I do in doubles, but cause like in doubles, Moltres has no purpose. 
From what I've seen, it's best in rain dance teams. Best in rain teams. Funny enough. Um. But in singles, national decks Ubers, it's OU. So, yeah, pretty good. Um. Uh, well, it can burn. I Actually, mean, let's look at the stats. If you go, if you go uh, throw that to Gen 1. <laughs> was, it, was it? Was it? Like the best Pokemon in Gen One, or was he the worst? One or the other? Gengar. I I want you to know. I'm pretty Gas sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure Fire Spin was the meta event in Gen One, right? No, it was Rap. And Gengar was the only Pokemon that could resist that, because I believe Fire Spin is a Gen Three move for Torque. Oh really? Oh. Yeah. Because if we go to past generation, I don't really, dude. Come on, come on. I I'm just desperate. I want to see something. Gen 1 Ubers. Mew 2 Mew. They're in Ubers. And then we go to Gen... And then... We go move down a little bit. Mew Mew. Haunters and Mew Mew. And then we go down even more. Where's Ghastly? Ghastly's in PU. Same tier as Arcanine. Which just hurts to see, man. Alright, can we just, uh, cause this is a national deck thing, so let's, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would mainly rank each one based off of their most recent, like, game that they've appeared in. Do you want to do that? Cause either way, the tier list stays the same so far. Okay, wait. Oh my god, wait, this is shit. Yeah, yeah, you know what, sure. Yeah, what, do, do what you want with Moltres, I don't really care. Uh, well, Moltres isn't R- Are you? <laughs> No, we should do it based on Nat decks. Alright, fine. No. Yeah, I don't know. You choose. I'll just go based off of their most recent appearance. Okay. So in Scarlet and Violet, he's not very good. No. Or we could just go Nat decks because... Let's do Nat decks because everyone's here. Yeah. Alright. So now he's OP. <laughs> but where do we put him? No, he's not OP. He's a C tier. C tier? An OU mod in C tier? Yeah, dude, this is a legendary tier list. You know how many bad legendaries there are? It's like zero. Like, come on. We're rating we're rating these based on like legendaries on its own. Yeah, that's one. Then there's the one right after. Then there's Fion, you know, but like yeah. these are Anyways. Like, we need to do it based on the legendary. So, I mean, you said Moltres is the worst, so why is it in C, and why is Articuno, you know? Well, I said it was the worst in doubles. Oh. Yeah, most likely. Yeah. And then we got Mewtwo. Mewtwo, that's, uh... It's just Mewtwo. A. Yeah, I, I agree. Like, very high A or low S. Because, like, if we look at... Because uh, we look here's at... Here's why I wish you hadn't gotten rid of E tier. We, we don't have enough tiers. You want me to bring back E tier? Yes. Alright, fine. I'll add back E tier. Now move everything down and then put Mewtwo... But leave Mewtwo in A. Really? Oh, wait. Yeah, because... Think about it. This is like, this is a tier list, like taking legendaries into account. Not all Pokemon. So, well, no, birds but... aren't aren't that good compared to other legendaries. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like in their meta, in their meta, I mean, in the meta with all the other Pokemon. It's not just oh, this is a big gauntlet of legendaries. No, every Pokemon. Is a valid then why is it even legendary? It's only legendaries because these are legendary Pokemon and it's a good clickbait title. <laughs> um, you, you can't, there's no reason not to argue with reason not with that. I can't English today. Whatever, we got Mew. Uh, Mew is the B tier. I agree. I would say I think mid most mythics are. I think most mythicals are just are going to be B tier. You know. Yeah. 
I will say though, uh, like, I, I think Zapdos deserves to be low B, or at least to be the worst in B. I don't think it deserves no, to be C. No, he'll be the highest in C, maybe. I don't know. That's fair. Because I'm fine with that. Let's wait, because uh -huh. we need like we can rearrange stuff later on. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, then we got right. Uh, Gen two. We're starting with Raikou. I have no idea what Raikou's placement is. It's not good. It's R U. I know he was O U in uh, Gen two. What could he? Oh yeah, because he was a legendary in Gen two when there were eight legendaries, nine. So, you know. Are you including mythicals in that? No. Okay, so then, yeah, you're right, man. That meta was still dominated by Mewtwo, I believe. But Mewtwo got- Yeah, that makes time. sense. But I'm sure Lugia ho -Ho did decent there. They're an Uber, if I'm not mistaken, as well. Alright, well, whatever, I don't really care. Yeah, anyways. Um... Still, Steelix and OU feel so weird, but that's besides the point. We got Raikou. What would this do? Look, it's this is its that's why do you say Kao? It's Ko, it's Raikou or say... Raikou. English is hard on the keyboard. Wait, no, I want it to play Raikou. Damn it, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Yeah, Raiko. God damn it. Alright, anyways. Uh -huh. Where do we put Raiko? Um Definitely not here. Not here, not here. Probably not here. No. D. He's not that bad. Yeah, I mean He gets he gets decent moves. Yeah, he's got extreme speed, quick attack, you know, your good moves. Quick attack? Yeah. Iron Head, Thunder Wave. That's a good move. Trailblaze, Toxic. The only S. problem is, is he a, uh, he's a, a special attacker, right? So, yeah, he's extreme special. speed isn't the most useful thing, but... He does get Curse. That's dumb. And Agility. Which makes sense. Yes. He gets Scald. That's... Dude, yeah, this Pokemon isn't that bad. And Shadow Ball. Yeah, he's not bad. I'm fine with, uh, behind Moltres. I would put him, like, just above Moltres. Actually, you know what? Yeah, you're, you're right. I don't know why I said that. We got Entei. I know nothing about Like, him. I think Moltres is, like... Oh, yeah. Lower mid D tier, and then Raikou is like higher mid, you know? Like, not the top, but not. Uh, Wait, I just realized we're placing an RU Mon over an OU Mon. Yes. That doesn't feel right. Whatever. You know, a lot of the time, those RU, UU, OU, a lot of the time, they don't mean anything. OU stands for overused. Un UU stands for underused. Just because it's underused doesn't mean it's not as good as an OU. Oh no, that's not what I'm saying at all. But RU has Ash Pikachu. So you see my yeah. logic now. <laughs> but here's the thing. <laughs> Again, it's not used very much because it's not a popular Pokemon. Raikou? Or Raikou? You know? Yeah, Raikou is... You... Believe it or not, not very popular. Hmm. I thought he would be. No. Suicune is the popular one because Crystal. Well, yeah, true. Anyways. And then... Next up we have... Nobody Raikou. cares about these two, for some reason. Yeah, I love these... I love the dogs, or the beasts, but... Anyways. I've always liked Entei the most. Entei has always been my favorite. Honestly, I don't have a favorite. I just like all of them. But if I were to lean towards one, probably Entei. Yeah, I like Entei's uh, battle music a little more, but eh, whatever. Yeah, but anyways. um, I don't know. Entei is like not very good. I mean, he gets a rupture. He's okay. Well, let's look at his stats. He's mainly an attacker, so moves like Sacred Fire. But he's a bulky attacker. 
Yeah. I mean, his highest stat is HP and attack. Yeah. It, actually, speed is his second highest. Attack is his third highest. Bro. Oh, wait, hang on. I meant base stats. Yeah. I just realized that's set to zero IVs on us. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I was talking base stats, because you can just look at the base stats. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, but still, he's not the slowest thing in the world. If this was, like, Sun and Moon, Sword and Shield type era, he'd probably be, like, a C tier. But it's not. Yeah, because we have Pokemon that have 405 speed or higher, like Fluttermane, Reggie Ileki, fucking Zacian. Well, I know I said Gen 8 before, but now Zacian's better. Kind of. Zacian's yeah. Better. Um, I don't know. I feel like... I think all of these dogs just belong in D tier. You know? Yeah. I would place Raikou... Or, sorry, Entei over Raikou just because of, like, you can outspeed possibly potentially slower Pokemon and get an eruption off, which is pre pretty cool. Pretty cool. Actually, no. You know what? Choice scarf eruption. Uh... You can outspeed a lot of things. You just got to be very careful. Yeah. Or you can go backwards. You can go choice specs, zero IV, trick room, ente with the uh, eruption. That's also not too bad. Yeah, but also I think I think Raikou just has a better move pool. Fair enough, but doesn't this dude also get scalded? <laughs> no, he gets scorching sands though. Too bad he's a physical attacker. Yeah. But he gets so signature move. Gen 2, but whatever. Um Trailblaze, which is pretty nice. Okay, Trailblaze is overrated. Yeah, but also, I feel like Trailblaze isn't actually useful when we have Flame Charge. Actually, no, it could be useful to cover water types. Yeah. Plus, you still get the speed stat. It's same base power as Flame Charge. The only difference is Flame Charge would have more damage to the stab, but you can just Terra Grass if you wish. Which actually isn't... Not, we haven't been thinking about Terra either. <laughs> D don't worry about Terra, okay? Because we ha we have Mega Pokemon in here, okay? That it doesn't work if there's Terra. Well, well, no, Mega Pokemon don't work in Terra. But outside of that, yeah. It's very so good. let's just discard Terra because. Eh, I disagree. Specifically, Pokemon that can't. Well, we're going to discard Dynamax, right? Oh yeah, no, no, no Dynamax. Well, unless there's one Dynamax Pokemon in here, but. That's because I kind of no, have No, yeah. Wait. There should be two. Oh, sorry, three. Three Dynamax. Yeah, three even. Yeah, Urshifu and Melmetal. Yeah, yeah, both Urshifu's Melmetal. And then there's also <clears throat> technically a Turnamax Eternatus, but that's besides the point. Uh, yeah, but that's not that's not a Gigantamax, that's a Turnamax. Yeah. But anyways, then we got Suicune. Let's look at Suicune real quick. Suicune is, um... Got a wide move pool. Uh, well, firstly, the base stats. Defenses are equal. Yeah, this is the bulky one. Yeah. Uh, which and is... just because I think bulky okay. is decent, is honestly a little better <laughs> than honestly... straight up offense in this meta, unless it's Rayquaza, but whatever. I feel like Entei and Suicune are equal, just because, like, Suic- Like, Entei could be, like, real used in a Trick Room situation. Suicune could also be used in a Trick Room situation, but the difference is Entei could do more damage, Suicune could be a Toxic Staller. Or, if yeah. you want- Or if you want also, to- Also, we're taking way too long on this. That- that's true. We are... 20 minutes in the video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we covered- that's not even 10 book. We we've, we've covered like and like a 20th of everything. We need to go quicker. All right. Uh but my I think Suicune is just above Entei. That's my pick. Yeah. What, you, what yeah, you fair? You fine with that? 
Yeah. Alright, cool. Then we got Lugia. The Toxic Staller. Or sorry, yep. the Stalling Mon. Can we just put it in S and move on? No. No. It's not- it's not broken. You know what? We're, we're reserving Fair S point. for the completely broken. Like... That's Mega fair. Rayquaza. Yeah, you know what? Fair oh, point. Mega Mewtwo Y. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. I agree. But can we put Lugia above Mewtwo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I completely yeah. agree with that. And then Ho Oh is kind of shit. Yeah, actually, what tier is Ho Oh? Uber, what does he do? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I see. I, I, oh. Yeah, he has Regenerator. That's a good, that's a pretty good ability. <laughs> I see now. Oh no. Oh my god, wait, burn up roost. Yeah. <laughs> Can we just place this like behind you? Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. Like, I feel I feel like me would by be the way, A tier. If Lugia had regenerator, I would put it in S tier. Oh yeah, true. His ability is uh, silver, uh, multi-scale, right? Or hidden ability. Yeah, but I think Regenerator just works better with um, that. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. I want because you're agree. you're gonna be toxic or something, and then you're just gonna switch out. You know. Yep. We got Celebi. Celebi B. May What's... actually Celebi is C. What would what what can Celebi do? Nothing. What about like a leech seed staller? Like just no, no. Swords dance. Oh, it's got trick room though. This is this is C tier. This is a decent Pokemon, but nothing special. I would actually place it. It's a can I be honest? No, it's above Zapdos. It's way above Zapdos. What? Not way above, but it's def it's not below it. I'll be honest with you, I'm thinking about having Suicune and Entei just behind Zapdos and putting Celebi in their place. Celebi does not seem good. Yeah, but I you know what? I would swap Celebi and Suicune. I agree, but Entei goes above s s Celebi. Yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That just makes perfect sense for me. Alright, we're done with Gen 2. Whew. I got Reggie Rock. <laughs> you just cut out. Oh, my bad. Then we got Reggie and Rock. We, we have reached the funny. We have reached the funny. Honestly? What is he good for? He go boom. That's about <laughs> it. He go boom. He got body press. Uh, he could actually set up stealth rocks if you wanted to. Yeah, no, he set up stealth rock, then he go boom. <laughs> set up stealth rock, body press, and then when he's on 1 HP on sturdy, he go boom. <laughs> yep, yep. Honestly, not a bad uh, idea for him. Uh, it's not bad, but it's also if, if you're like, rock is such a bad typing. Yeah, let's put it like right above Articuno. No, be below or above Articuno? Like, above. There's Okay, yeah. I mean, Articuno really can't do anything, like, ever. <laughs> Especially against Regirock. <laughs> yeah, but here's the one that goes below Articuno. Regice. Can we? Can no, we? it's... Uh, fair. There, F tier is for... Cosmog, Like, the top it. of F tier <laughs> is Fion, okay? Now, see, I'm gonna disagree with you here. But we'll get to that. We will get to that. Okay. Then we have Reggie Steel is actually pretty good, by the way. Uh, I don't actually fully know Ste Reggie Steel too much. I don't like his uh, abilities other than Clear Body. I think Clear Body is his best ability. Mhm. Mm then actually, let's look at his stats: terrible speed, terrible special attack, terrible attack, decent defenses. Does he get Body Press? If he gets Body he does. Press, he does. he does not. Yes, he does. He's Google. pretty good. He gets Curse, Iron Defense, too, which is also nice. And, and if we're desperate, Power Punch. 
You could also set up rock. You get stealth rock. Does yeah. he get spike? Does he? Uh, doesn't seem like it. No. He doesn't get sleep talk though, and rest. Well, I th well, every Pokemon gets rest, but actually, no, that's not true. Really, I thought it was. There's a lot of Pokemon that don't get rest. Or was it? Oh wait, every Pokemon can learn protect. Nearly every, but yeah. Yeah. I think every ready. good Pokemon can learn rest. You know, he he's better than yeah. I think he's he's D. Yeah, I think the worst in D so far. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but that that's like, just he's bulky. That's all he's got going for him. Yeah, definitely. I want to edit. All this right, now these two, <laughs> the Lotties. Also, by the way, when we're talking about each Pokemon, we're not including their Mega, we're just talking about their base form, and then we'll get to their Megas later. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. We'll, we'll, the Megas are later. So we're gonna start with Latias. Um, Latias more like Latias. Really not, a, like, that good. Um... It, it's not the worst, though. In doubles, it's definitely think... very good, but in singles, not so much. I think it's more of like Lottie a Latios is user decent that... though, right? Uh, I think so, yeah, because I think that's a flip turn user. Mm. Which it gets flip turn in Gen 9. Which is just crazy to me, but Yeah. Yeah, it's not the worst. Hmm. <clears throat> Tailwind? It can set up Tailwind. I think this is more of like a Hazards Mon. Or a Specsmon yep. that has Trick on it. Which, or Heal- <laughs> Yeah. Either Specs or Scarf Trick. Something like that. So, Scarf. Yeah. So where do we put Latias? See? Uh, I'm definitely not putting it above Suicune. Actually, eh. Do we- it, It's- no, it's bottom of C. Yeah, that's fair. I guess. And then I'd say for oh. Latios, we don't really even need to look at it. It's like top of C, you know? I just want to look at it just in case. Similar moves? Oh yeah, this one gets Luster Purge. Yeah. It's get Yeah, it gets more... No it gets Psychic Noise too? Latias did not get psychic noise. So that's pretty nice. Um I don't know what that move does. I don't think I've ever seen that move. Okay, basically be used for ever. so <laughs> it's a it's like I think a base ninety power psychic move. Where it, it basically replaces psychic in every way. And the best part is it's hundred percent accurate and it stops the opponent from healing for two turns. Oh, right. Yeah, I remember now. Yeah. I think Latios should go just below Zapdos. That's where I would say. No. Because Zapdos is good. I think it's good. slightly better than Zapdos. Really? I'm going to disagree. Purely because it has better moves and its typing is better. Yeah, that does make sense. That's a fair point. Then again, wait. Is it the psychic type? Both, both Latios and Latias are Psychic Dragon. Right, yeah. Yeah. I mean, Psychic type is complete garbage, but Dragon is probably the best type. I think I'm going to disagree with you because Zapdos can set up a lot of stuff before Latios can do very much. If that makes sense. Because, like, Zapdos All right, can set yeah. up like a tailwind. I mean, it, it's, like, right behind it, though. Oh yeah, I definitely agree with that. That's what I'm saying, though. I think yeah. Zapdos definitely gets the upper hand compared to Latios in like nearly every way, but but like a small by a small margin. Yep. And then we got Kyogre is top of B. B. Really? Scarf. Mm -hmm. Uh, scarf Water Spout. That's good. But 
I guess we could go bottom of A. Yeah, that's what that's what I would say. Actually, I think Mewtwo is sl just base Mewtwo is slightly worse than it. Okay, but think about like Kyogre. If it can't kill, like if it doesn't do half damage with that, it's screwed. You know, that's true. But that's why Mew Mewtwo can Mew Mewtwo can set up like. That's Kyogre only has one game plan. That's a fair point. I'm fi I agree. I agree now with your choice. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Then we got Groudon. It's just kind of, it's Um just, it's just it's just Groudon. Just Kyogre but worse. No, it's Kyogre but you can set up. He doesn't just have to go base Groudon. You, like you can go ban power up punch if you wish. You can be annoying and set up spikes, stealth rock. Be a menace in the field. You can also set up like swords dance and sweep. There's a lot of stuff. And no do. surprise, it gets toxic because most legendaries do for some reason. Yeah, so you can also set up bulk up if you wish to. I would say Groudon. Yeah. Honestly, I think Groudon is A tier. Better than Kyogre for sure. Yeah. I would say these are more tied, kind of. Like one or two points. So why don't? Yeah, we. I'm. I'm thinking we might move Kyogre down to like top of B eventually, but. You know what? Actually, I agree with that. Yeah. I think like Groudon. Like look just... at like Ho Oh there and Mew. It's like that's like it's very yeah very similar to those. Yeah. Then we just got the Quay Quay. That's what I've been calling it for the past four months, and I haven't stopped, and I don't know why I call it that. Anyways, the Quay Quay. Just basically- It's good. It's- it's- it's very, very, very good. Yeah. Again, Swords Dance, Tailwind. No one's running Tailwind. Well, yeah, but just in case if, like, I don't know why you want to mix up, you can do that. No. No you one's also, ever gonna run Tailwind with this Pokemon. You can also set up bulk up with it. Or Dragon Dance. Dra does it get Dragon Dance? Yeah, it does get Dragon Dance. Yep. Swords Dance, Dragon Dance, bulk up. Whatever you want. Dragon Dance is why it's good. That's that's a fair point. Definitely better than Cra uh, Groudon. Definitely better than Mewtwo. Is it better than Lugia? I feel- I don't know if Rayquaza is better than Lugia. Is it better than Lugia? Again, I'm gonna say it. Yes, just because it's Dragon-type. Also, I just realized I need to, like, do something for OPS. <laughs> okay, cool. Perfect. Actually, and what? Lugia, Lugia is Psychic-type, one of the worst types in Pokémon, and then... Like, it- Lugia is Psychic Flying, Rayquaza is Flying Dragon. Like, yeah, Dragonfly is definitely a much better typing. Yeah, Rayquaza and is just I think better it... in travel. Yeah, because like, I mean, if you put them to get like against each other, I think Lugia is gonna win. But I think Rayquaza is gonna win against others more often. You know, I'm, I'm gonna say this now. I think base Rayquaza and base Lugia. But why am I saying base Lugia? Like Shadow Lugia exists in mainline Pokemon. <laughs> but like Lugia and base Rayquaza. I think if they're doing a match, no stat boost at the start, no nothing, just both of them in a 1v1, I think it's the most 50-50 matchup in all of Pokemon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. <laughs> no, ditto, ditto. Wait, my bad. Ditto, ditto. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's ditto, ditto. Cosmog, yeah. Cosmog. Yeah. Magikarp, Magikarp. I think we go Magikarp Cosmog, because I think having two of the same is bullshit. Cosmo and Cosmog. No, Cosmo wins because it it gets the uh, cosmic power. Yeah, true. And you can put an Eevee light on that. Mm-hmm. Definitely good in uh LC or uh what's the uh the tier above LC? I don't know. Then we got Jirachi. Choice Scarf, Iron Head, Rainbow Terrain. <laughs> this is a, this goes in A tier. 
Yeah, definitely. Gen 3 the amount of has a lot thing, of good legends. The amount of Jirachis I've come across on Showdown is dumb. It's abysmal, uh, yeah. Like, I've lost Mega Rayquazas to that piece of shit. I've used one competitively on a doubles team. I did a Rainbow Terrain. That was mean. I don't really know what that means, but uh, whatever. So, you know how Jirachi has Serene Grace? Think of that as a turn. Yeah. Oh. And then combine that with Jirachi. Yeah, that's dumb. But I've just been in singles, you know. Yeah. Like, I've, I've lost... I've lost Ultra Necrozmas to Jirachi. Yeah. Which Where is we... incredibly stupid. Where would we put Jirachi? Uh, it's above Groudon. I agree. I would also. But say... the thing is, it's it's kind of luck based, right? Whether it'll be good. Yeah, but it's more likely to be good. Yes. It's like actually very so. That's common that's thing. where it belongs. Yeah. Then we just got base deoxes. Not bad. Yeah. What tier is base deoxes? <laughs> They're all in Uber. Wait, 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 wait. I saw no. I saw one that wasn't in Uber. Oh, it's defense. <laughs> Why is defense in RUVL? <laughs> Anyways, uh, all of them have the same moveset. Just gonna look at this one moveset. It's got Nasty Plus. Can we just rank speed as in like... Actually, you know what? Before we touch speed, before we touch speed, where do we put base... Or uh, neutral... Uh, Deoxys neutral. V... I agree. Definitely above ho -Oh. Low B, high C. I would say above ho -Oh, under Mew. Sure. Yeah. Deoxys attack. Second strongest attacker Dumb. in the game. Or special attacker in the game. Really stupid, but also so frail that you kind of need to run Joy Scarf here. Like, if anything outspeeds you, yeah. you are fucked. That, that's true, yeah. What is the like, speed Like, a Reggie Alecki you in one hit, and that's just dumb. Oh, yeah, wow, you're frail. One, uh, one, and yeah, one, one, one knockoff and you're dead. No, <laughs> literally any move that does damage is gonna kill you in one hit. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's the chancy defense. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, like, Seriously, it's got, like... It's got good speed, though. If you run into a Shedinja, you are screwed. Unless you have Shadow Ball. Or Nightshade. Why would you have Nightshade? Base 100 power. Well, base 100 power. No! What do you mean? That's not what Nightshade does. Well, yeah, it does damage equal to the user's level. Why would you not be using a level 100 Deoxys attack? Because it's attacks that will do anything else better. Dude, just use- if you use Shadow Ball, you'll do a thousand damage. Like, you, you don't, don't need to do a hundred. You know what? Fair it, do, it does- it, Yeah, it, oh, it does the same damage as your level. It's gonna do a hundred damage every time. Oh, yeah, that- that- that's true. So, where do we put it? So, yeah, I think it's... It's better than base Deoxys, but I don't think it's better than Kyogre. But I think it's better than Mew. Yeah, so, above Mew, below Kyogre. That's a fair place to put mm -hmm. it. And then defense? Why is it in RUBL? That shit should be in Uber. That shit is broken. I, I'm telling you. Really? Oh, Just look at its move. <laughs> Toxic stall. Duh. Toxic Trick Room. It gets it gets Stealth Rock. I'm yeah. pretty sure it it does. Yeah, it gets Stealth Rocks sp and Spikes, and I believe Toxic Spikes as well. Does it? Or is it just Toxic that it gets? It's just Toxic that it gets. 
honestly, it's really good. <laughs> just yeah. Just don't get a defense or don't get guard split or guard swap, and you're good. <laughs> don't get hit with guard swap. Yeah. So the problem with it is that it just like if you're forced to attack, you can't do anything. Yeah. Like. If you're up against a poison type, even if you have Zen Headbutt, nothing's happening. Yeah, that's a fair point. So I, that's... I would put this... Above Zapdos. Yes. That's that's where I would put it as well. Yeah, the other and then, is fair game here. Alright, let's just move on to speed. This is the best one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no, no, no questions. Yep. <laughs> yep, here's what you do. What what is it? Choice spec psycho boost? Yep, <laughs> that's all you need. Yep. <laughs> or is psycho is psycho boost? Wait, what's that? Is that physical or special? Psycho boost is special. Okay, then yeah. God, why isn't? But like that's like enough? that's bottom of S, right? Uh, yeah, definitely. What I hate is that I can't pause. Oh wait, pause recording, hang on. Pause recording will be... 7. Numpad 7. <laughs> why? Because why are you using Numpad 7? I would use like... I don't know... But it also F2? doesn't... <laughs> but it also doesn't work. <laughs> Yeah, I would use like F2. And how did F2 I get to the is, settings in the first place? Doesn't have a function on Windows, so. Yeah. Let me just make it in the number seven. That would work too. I would also put it whatever that little stupid squiggle above tab is. Uh. That. I don't know what it's called. Also. Anyways, oh, you should have been. I wish. That was honestly really funny. But now I'm recording, so fuck me then. Anyways. We got Gen 4. I'm, we're going to start with my D favorite of the D list. D and D. <laughs> See, now, as Elf does no, the Reggie These guys are the definition of mid. I'll be honest. Ugsy is good. I use it a lot. And it does its job very well for me. At least. Well, I think Azelf is the best one competitively. Oh, yeah, no, de competitively, it's like UU. You, you. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's like really good. So, D, D, low C. High D for Azelf, all the way. I feel like Azelf has less, like, abilities compared to Celebi. Celebi can just stall you out. Azelf, go boom. Yep. But then, you could also say the same thing about Regirock. That's true, but the difference is that there is no difference. Regirock so is, is worse. Cut. <laughs> yeah. I feel like Azelf like, goes back there. Because, like, it's not No. That... It's I... better than Moltres. Actually, in the place that I had it before, it was fine. Yeah, that works. Uxi, I feel like, goes right behind it. Because I think... Uxi is one of the best light screen reflect users in the game. You give it light clay, reflect, light screen, okay, yawn, but protect, those kinds of moves. It's one of the better ones for, you know, these guys. Yeah. The legendaries. And the mess but... we don't know what the hell this thing is doing. Yeah, but also, Uxi, um, there are much better light screen users. Just use Grim Snarl. Like... That's true. Really? That's definitely much better. But if you need to use Uxi, then Uxi's good. Uxi then yeah, good. use it for that. Yeah, because like, can we just talk about how there are four All right, legendary levitators that, that are All right, type? moving on. Where do we put Mesprit? Do I have it in a good place? Yeah, that that works. All right, I feel like it should be behind Reggie Steel. Okay, yeah, actually, yeah, I was about to say that. Yeah. Maybe even, maybe even. No, no, no. Fair point. 
Choice Scarf, Choice Specs on that can go crazy. Mm-hmm. They got Dialga. Why do you even have to look at Dialga? Just to get a good reference for the camera. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty good. Oh my god, telepathy and Ziggles totally goes crazy. <laughs> Totally, this doubles ability goes so well. Yep. Well, because this is singles, this thing is automatically a tier worse. Fair point. Where do we put it? Top of B. I would say below Kyogre and Deoxys Tech. Yeah. But not above. But above me. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a fair place to put Dialga. I think a Palkia is weirdly better than Dialga. Yeah, I actually don't know much about Palkia outside of him just being good. And just saying, Spatial Rend is a really cool move. It's also just much better than Roar of Time. Roar of Time, because that shit is awful. Yeah. I didn't even put moves! I didn't put moves on! <laughs> What do you mean you're giving me an EV spread? Press the button, no, press the button, press the button. Nice. It just gave you it. Why it- and Maybe because that's the only one- that's like the only option it has. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. What about Booster Energy Palkia? Wouldn't that be crazy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> EV Light Palkia. Alright, where do we put Valkia? This one is... No, this is top of B. Like, I wouldn't- Actually, I I would put it just above Groudon, actually. Really? Yeah. Or, but... or just below. I feel like just below? Just above? Yeah, sure. Just below works. Okay, yeah. Then we got Heatran. Because it, it, it's better than Kyogre, definitely, but... Yeah. But, Heatran. Heatran? Moving on. <laughs> no. No, put that shit in E tier. What? Are you kidding me? Heatran. E tier? It does not belong in front Air of Balloon, Heatran? Palkia and Groudon. Heatran? This guy? Oh, you man over here? Assault Fest, Air oh, Balloon. Oh, you! I don't think you know Heatran. Air Balloon. Wow. What if they have a water type? Tarot Grass. I don't know. <laughs> Burn off. Okay. Actually, you know. You know, Grass type is one of the worst types in Pokemon, right? Then why is it one of Armor Rouge's best Terra types back in Scarlet and Violet? Because it's Armor Rouge. Fair point. <laughs> but also, Grass type is Which actually is quite a good Terra. I'm gonna disagree with Heatran and E tier. It is so not E tier. <laughs> so not. I'm fine. But it is saying... not A tier. No, I... <laughs> no. It's that is C tier at best. What? No. You have not told me anything good about this Pokemon. All right. Well, firstly, Air Balloon. Great on Heatran. Air Balloon. Yeah, sure. They hit you with one Let's extreme speed move. or something, or even a quick Let's attack. Let's look at this move. A jet. Let's look yeah, at yeah, that thing's gone. Let's look at this move pool, right? He can set up rocks, he can switch you out quite quickly. If you have him in a trick room setup, he's very good. Uh, choice specs or rupture. You know what's not good in singles? You wanna know what's not good in singles? Trick room. Correct. But why is he OU then? Because he's decent. He's pretty good. Alongside Corviknight, 
Darkrai, Garganical, Ferrothorn, Garganical, Gliscor, Glamora, Glamora. Yeah, all very good Pokemon. Okay, then tell Halibur? me, why is he right next to Hoopa Unbound? Wait, what? Go up to where Heatran is. Hoopa Unbound. Yeah. Why is Hoopa Unbound in OU? <laughs> Probably because of Trick, and also, he, I'm pretty sure Hoopa Unbound got buffed in Gen 9. Mmm. But also Trick Crew. I don't know. I disagree with C tier all the way. C tier is not a good place to put him. I'm saying and he's bottom of B. It is no. It is not better than Ho Oh. <laughs> huh? I'm sorry. Does Heatran get access to Sacred Fire? No. No, but Entei gets access to Sacred Fire. We put his ass in D tier. Did I ever agree with that? Not really. You did agree with that. I yeah, put Entei because we were taking four thousand years on, on Entei. <laughs> I I would put Entei above Latias if I could. What? Or I'd move Entei up a tier if I could. Do it. We're fine. Now put Heatran bottom of B tier. It's better than Ho Ho though. No! <laughs> I love how this is the most upset we both met at each other. <laughs> it's yeah, fucking, listen. It's fucking heat. Okay, can we moving on. <laughs> no, no, no. That that it's actually not bad. It's not a bad Pokemon at all. Twitch <laughs> Gigas. You you just have to stall, and a lot of people don't like stalling for five turns straight. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Giga Impact. No. Reggie Gigas is. I think it's a C tier. Can we just do this? Sure. Yeah. Alright, now we got the both Giratinas. Altered Giratina first. Where do we put Altered Giratina? Because th this is definitely A tier, no matter what, probably. Or high, very, very high B tier. Which one is better again? Uh, I believe... Well, both are in Uber. Yeah. And both got heavily nerfed. I think both are, like, nearly equal. The only difference is Giratina Origin is has Levitate and has his held item taken up. But Giratina has Pressure... And singles, and that's all you're gonna run, which is good for Stalin. And has a heavy it, held item slot. And it's a hella bulky. That's true. Then we look at Origin Giratina, and still bulky, but not as bulky. I yeah. think regular Giratina is a little better. Oh, yeah, definitely. But so where do put we that put... above Jirachi, below Mewtwo. Okay, I'm fine with that. I probably and then put below. origin in between uh Groudon and Palkia. Not Palkia. No. No. Other way. Yes. Okay. <laughs> As you said, they're like they're pretty much equal. Yeah. It, the only difference is. Uh, Alter or Origin Giratina is more attack based, but he still has high defenses. It's barely a change. Yeah. So, but so why don't we just put them right next to each other? But see, here's the thing, though. Jirachi is better than Alter Giratina, I feel. Or sorry, Origin Giratina. That's Origin. Yeah. Okay. Jirachi's definitely much better than that. Then we got Cresselia. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> well, actually, wait, no, this is singles. I, this is singles. This I is don't 100% disagree with that, but, like... Wait, no. Wait, no. What am I fucking saying? This is... Uh, this is... This is singles. If this was doubles, it goes there. 
if this was C. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. Uh, high Actually, B. No, it's high. It's high B. Yeah, right there works. Actually, no. It's it's got to be here. Deoxys attack is much better. Is about roughly the same amount as Cresselia. I'm fine with this. Okay, can you put Dialga above those two then? Uh, what are those two? The two were. Alright, it, it, it goes above Cresselia and Deoxys deck. I don't yeah. know why we put that there before. I don't, yeah, I don't know either. No, it was just. All of the Deoxys Psychic deck. type legendaries go in B tier because they're all decent. And then we have Mewtwo, and Palkia, and Lugia, and Jirachi, and Deoxys. Did you just call- Did you just call Palkia a psychic type? Fuck! <laughs> God damn it, it's Water Dragon! <laughs> ignore that, ignore that. I have not been playing this franchise for nearly 10 plus years. I have not. Wait, no, I have been. Alright, then we got Fiona. Fiona, that- that's top F. I disagree. Look okay. at this move pool. Definitely not F. Okay, now go to its stats. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> the worst legendary Pokemon that was meant to be decent. Like, they, they, it's the worst mythical. I feel like it's very bottom E. No! Because that's Manaphy! What? Tail Glow Manaphy? Yeah. No! Tail Glow Manaphy. Wait, no, no. Because that's. No, here's why. Because that, my friend, is. Shame in base form. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is that? Like, back here in E? Yeah. yeah. Shame in base form is not very good, but... Manaphy, don't put that in B. Do not put that in B. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> because... Put that in C tier right now. No! Huh? Okay, fine. There you go! Fine. Dark, I feel like Manaphy Dark should Rye be is... higher. No. Darkrai is kind of shit, I'm gonna be honest. Um... Blunder Policy Darkrai? Yeah... But... Just take a look at that move pool. It's got actually not a bad move pool. It's not that bad, but like... No, this is actually like, quite good. He's got electric coverage, he's got... Actually okay, why do you have electric and... coverage on a pure dark type? Why not? Sludge Bomb, yeah, that's pretty good for him. Yeah, uh, he got Shadow Ball, of course, Psychic Cover. Why do you have Shadow Ball on a Dark type? I don't know, man. I'm just saying. Exactly! Coverage. I'm saying coverage, right? It's coverage, but it's not good. Co psychic, yeah, that's pretty good. Ice. <laughs> that's shit. Uh, he also gets Nasty Plot, which I should mention. Uh, he's got Fighting Coverage, obviously Dark Pulse, because why wouldn't you have Dark Pulse? And then, why don't we get his signature move, hmm? Well, yeah, he has Hypnosis, I hope you realize. Yeah. Dark Void, why did they make it worse than Hypnosis? I don't know. But put Blunder Policy, Dark Pulse, think of a 50-50 chance on a 2 times speed boost. Plus, not to mention, OU. The reason why he's OU? Because they banned sleep. <laughs> like, straight up, they just banned sleep. Which is very silly. Kyogre okay. is better than Darkrai. I agree. But the all And so is Dialga. Really? That doesn't feel right. Yes. I'm not and to an extent, so is Deoxys attack. But then everything below that is worse. I will say that. And then we just have the. Ri I love how Cresselia and Darkrai are just both rivals. We have them both next to each other. Yeah, because they're basically equal. They're both. They're both decent, but not broken. Yes, I did chuck Shaman in a tier already. So who's using this? 
This shit is awful. Actually, I mean, no, no. You know what? Yeah, you know you're right. It does have a good. It it has the same as other mythicals. Yeah, no. Yeah, you're right. So it it's too. Fiona is there just because of its stats. Its move pool isn't actually that bad. But yeah, plus it's got U-turn. Switch out quickly, then leave. It's pretty good. Uh, Shaman Skyform. Also, cast form, ca cast form should have been considered a mythical. Just saying. Uh, I'm down for that. Then we got Shaman Skyform. Where are you putting Shaman Sky? It doesn't have a very good move pool, but in turn you can make this like a leech, a fast leech seed staller. You can make this uh, a scarf or a band. I don't know why you make it band, but you can. It's... Is it better than Celebi? Considering how it's an Uber, yeah. <laughs> then... Oh, aromatherapy. Aromatherapy. Ah. Uh, oh, you know what? Corselli, that's I, I'm that's Corselli especially good in... That's really good in singles, actually. Yeah, also, I'm moving Cresselia up above Darkrai just because of that one move, I cannot remember its name for the life of me, that heals one-fourth of your party and cures all status conditions. Oh, and also Levitate. Yeah. <laughs> what about telepathy? <laughs> Anyways, Shame and Skyform, where are we putting this uh, bastard? It's... Hi, C. I agree, but it's not. It, it's it's better than Manaphy, but not better than Deoxys Defense. Okay, if you want to move Heatran up towards Darkrai and Cresselia, I'll let you. Because just looking at that, it's better than Mew. You know? Yeah. I put Heatran above Darkrai, but below Cresselia, because I think that's fair. Yeah. It's a fair place to put him, actually. Then we got Arceus. We Arceus? Have all, all 18 of them. <laughs> oh my fucking god. 17 in a, We have 17 over here, man. <laughs> Why don't we just rank the best one? Oh no, we're ranking all of them. We're, no, that that's gonna take up too much space. Why not? We're, we have all the Savalis too, by the way. <laughs> Bruh. Alright, well, where, where are we putting Arceus? Firstly. Just by default, normal type Arceus. A. Oh, by the way, I will say plates are completely useless in national decks. For yeah. Arceus, because you can just put on a Z crystal. Savali can't do that. Savali does memories only. Yep. Yeah. So where are we putting Arceus? I think that's a good place to put him. Sure. Alright, then we got Bug. D tier. <laughs> no! It's, it's, it's not A tier. Get, get that, sh yeah, it, Bug type. Come on, man. Actually, I feel like it's better than Latios. And Entei, and Suicune, and Latios. Yeah, but not better than Zapdos. Arceus Bug can go there. Then we got Arceus Dark. I'll let you decide That's for That's not all bad. Of I'll let you decide for all of these to speed it up. Dark. I feel like it's not as good as normal. It's definitely not as good as normal. Hi B. Yeah. Hi B. Oh wait. Yeah. Hi B. Yeah. Well, no, not but not better than Cresselia. Absolutely not. Okay, fine. Better than Heatrian. Not better than Cresselia. No. Arceus... Uh... I don't know what Arceus this is. What Arceus is this? It's Dragon. That's top of A. I'd say it's better than... No, like that... No, no, like that's better than Rayquaza. Oh, okay. Well, it, it gets Dragon Dance, right? Does it get Dragon Dance? Pretty sure. Oh, wait, hang on. Uh, just, just in case. 
I know it doesn't change anything, but why not? Oh yeah, it does. Yeah, it's better than Rayquaza. Yeah. No, I, I see the vision. Uh, this is Arceus Electric. Yeah, well... Wait, all Arceus gets Dragon Dance. Yeah. But, also... Hmm... I feel like we should have a limit on where we place Arceus, because there's no way Arceus Bug can be in C tier. Yeah. Dragon Dance. Or Beat. <laughs> but it's Bug type. <laughs> you know? Right there. Actually, you know what? The no. lowest Arceus can go. No, the lowest it can go is. Okay. Yeah. The lowest it can go is C. So when we get to uh, when we get to Psychic, that's that's like low C. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah. No, this this is. No, yeah. wait, no, no, not low C for Psychic. Never mind. Wait, no. Uh, anyways, I we think Bug is oh. the worst one. Yeah, I'm debating between leaving it behind Zapdos, behind Shaman Sky, or above no, Shaman Sky. No, no, it, it's top of C. Okay. Then we got gr uh, Ground Arceus. Mm -hmm. I have no e. idea. B? Where would, we, where would we put him, though? Right next to the other Arceus. Uh, above or below it? <laughs> above. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. All Earthquake. Right. That's all you oh, need to know. Fair enough. Uh, Arceus Fire. A. Where though? Low A, but A. A Lefalkia? Yeah. Uh, and they'll overgrad on two. I'd say overgratin altered. Fine. You mean origin. Er God damn it. Uh I don't know what Arceus that is. What Arceus is this? Fighting? Is it fighting? Oh yeah, no, it's fighting. I just mixed them up. What is that? It's multiverses. Oh my fucking god. Anyways. No, fighting? I think- Wait, I think- I think I switched them up. I think the one we ranked as fire is fighting. <laughs> Put them right next to each other, because that's where they should go anyway. Uh, above or below? <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> We're not gonna tell which is which. <laughs> I don't care, we don't need to. Well, I mean, I kinda need to for the video. Nope, no you don't. Uh, then we got Arceus flying. Uh, unfortunately, not very good. Yeah. Just because flying is not a very good type. Oh yeah, definitely not. B. D? B. Okay. I would say better than Ho, not better than no or normal Deoxys. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Arceus. What well, Arceus? Looks like fairy. Ghost. That's ghost. Yeah, this is Ghost. Because Arceus Fairy's pink. This is purple. Dude, I can't see. Wait, 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 wait. Then where is the fucking Psychic? <laughs> this. And this is Fairy all the way over here. In the X and Y stuff. Where? In the X and Y stuff. It's the only Arceus there. Oh. Yeah, because I moved then, the wait, things based off of gen. What what did we rate? What was the other Arceus we rated? Which one? <laughs> Top of A, what is that? Dragon. Dragon, okay. And then, what, where do we rank Arceus Ghost? I feel like this is a good one. I'm gonna say it. Say what? Above Dragon. Oh, okay. I'll let you say it. It's got two amenities. That's that's all you need to know. Yeah, I'm not super used to Arceus, like the Arceuses. I just use like normal Arceus or Arceus Electric, and that's about it. So okay. Yeah, then we got Arceus Grass. 
bad. <laughs> not bad, but it's not as bad as Bug. Wait, wait. Yes, it is. Swap it and Bug. Okay. You turn. Oh yeah, fair point. Dragon Dance, you turn. Yes. Cool. Why would you do that? Set up one Dragon Dance. You're low on health. And you turn out of it. Yep. That's what you do. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, uh, wait, you turn. Yeah. I think this is rock. What if this one is fighting? I think this one is fighting. No, this one's crowned. Wait, so what was the- <laughs> Wait. Fuck. I'm so confused what happened. This is ground. Where- where did we put ground? <laughs> no, this isn't ground. <laughs> well, it's fucking ground! Let's open this in a new tab! No, 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 go back to the list of Arceus. This is the ground. And let's look at the image. Okay. That's okay. We, so we ranked electric already. We ranked electric already. Or electric is in B right now. I feel like it should be higher just because you have shiny Arceus. Yeah, electric. Yeah, that that should go. <laughs> yeah, that should that should bottom of A. Electric. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can tell it's electric because of it. Chat. Yeah, it's yellow. also yellow. But if we make it shiny, <laughs> then it's all yellow. <laughs> Except it's it's chest is piss yellow. <laughs> so it's harder to spot. Like it's a world war. No, it's easier to spot than shiny. Dude, it and shiny Arceus regular looks so similar. <laughs> I know, that's why I'm saying it. Like when they're both shiny, you can't tell the difference. Yeah, that's why I'm saying it should be slightly higher, so that way you can't tell if it's Arceus normal or Arceus electric. No, if you're going into a tournament, you're fucked. But if that's you're... banned. Well, yeah, <laughs> it's just straight up banned. But if you're playing a showdown, Arceus Elect shiny Arceus Electric versus shiny Arceus Normal. Just call them both Arceus. <laughs> no one will never, no one will ever know unless if they read the chat. Anyways, Arceus Ground Time. That's rock. Rock is much lighter than that. Rock is over here. Never mind. That's rock. So this is ground. Where do we put ground? Where it was. But where was it? <laughs> B! Next to the other Arceus at the bottom of B. But where's the other Arceus? <laughs> bottom of B! Bottom of B? Like this? Next to that- Yes! Alright. Then we got- we had it. Then we had Arceus Ice. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> no, bug is the worst. So, no, grass is the worst. Yeah. Now. So, yeah, right there. A lot of them are going to go there just because they're not very good typing. Yeah, that's fair. We have Arceus And Psychic. ground, ground gets earthquake, but that's all it's got going for it. Yeah. But that's enough to make it A tier, right? Yeah. Oh shit, you know what it was? You know what it was? We thought Arceus Ground was Arceus Fighting. No. No, yeah. No, Arceus Fighting is Arceus Ground. So we put Arceus Fighting in A tier. And after a little while we realized that it's Arceus Fighting. So this one on the left is Arceus Fighting. This one on the right is Arceus Fire. Just to differentiate them, can we just put Giratina Altered in between one of them? Oh yeah. This one's Fire. This one's Fighting. Which one do you think is better? Then which one is ground? Ground is in B. Yeah, this one's ground. Put that put that shit top of B. Uh ground Arceus ground? Yeah, because it was next to dark, I remember now. It's like that? But it was above dark. Yeah, right there. Okay. I'm fine with that. Then we have Arceus Psychic. This shit is broken. So, here? No, not that broken. Not that broken. Actually, yeah, yeah. 
better? Wait, is Arceus Psychic better than Arceus Dragon? Combine the door to power. Fair, fair point. <laughs> fair point. Yeah, so, it's it's dumb. So would we say it's better than Arceus Ghost in that case? No. Okay. Then we have Arceus. Yeah, that's that's going. I think that's going right above uh, grass. Uh, <laughs> I, I agree. <laughs> I honestly, I'm thinking of putting it above grass. Uh, I mean, below grass. Can we put Shaman Sky above Arceus Grass? I think Rock is worse than grass. I'm fine with that, but can we put Shaman Sky above both of them? Fine. Because, like, Aromatherapy will instantly beat out Arceus Grass any day, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. So, like, that's just very useful right there. Arceus Steel. This is Arceus Steel, right? Ar yeah. Arceus Steel goes above Lugia, but below Rayquaza. I'm fine with that. Arceus Water. Very, very good, but not that good. Does it get Water Spout? I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna put it above Dialga, remember that, and then we're gonna go to Showdown. Moment of Truth, does it get Water Spout? It gets Waterfall. Um, we gotta check down here, too. It gets Water Pulse. It does not get Water Spout, so it it's... Not. Um... Below Dialga. I feel like the There you go. I feel like these two yeah. are better, though. No! We don't need three Arceus together again! <laughs> fine, fine, fine. Well, uh, if you were, Just think about you it. You know what? Uh, but, like, no, the, water is a better type. That's true, but Cresselia has that one move. It has that one move, and it kills itself! No, it doesn't kill itself. That's Healing Wish. Cresselia has a signature move. I gotta look at that. I don't remember the name of it. What is it called? What is it called? What is it called? No, not Lunar Dance. It's another move. Where is it? Is it down here? Wait, what is Lunar Dance? Let me see it again. Lunar Blessing. That's what it is. What does Lunar Blessing do? Uh, heals one-fourth of your current allies and party, and... Best part... Cures their status condition. Does- is there bad things that happen to Cresselia when that happens? Just use a turn. Then I, why is that move never used? I have no idea. <laughs> I feel like that would be more broken. But maybe it's because of Lunar Blessing or Lunar Dance. Oh no, Lunar Dance is better because it uh, maximizes BP. But it kills yourself. Yeah. So like you can use that in like a one-time situation, like when you're like going to die guaranteed and you outspeed. No, 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 no. You can use that twice per game. Just bring a Palm Yeah, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> or well, uh, or a Rabska. No, no, no. Cresselia. Rabska, Palmot, and the other fucking Pokemon that learns it. What's the what's the other one? Just go to DB. Oh no, it's it's just those two. It's, okay. It, it's I thought it was another one, but guess not. All right, we're done with Gen Four. Oh, really? <laughs> hey, what's that? Water above Cresselia. All right, fine, fine, fine. Then we got. Gen 5, starting with Victini. Is it- Dumbass is it, Victini, this, shit, this shit's pretty good, but also not really that good. I don't know much about Victini, actually. I know it learns Pulse Strike. Oh, V-Create! Give this- Yeah, you know what else learned? Create? <laughs> Rayquaza. Yeah! But you know what else can learn it? My Hackmon's Eternamax Eternatus. <laughs> no, with Contrary. L plus ratio. <laughs> It also gains superpower. And, uh... 
What what does Victory Star do again? Victory Star? Pokemon in the ally Oh, accuracy multiplied by 1.1. 1. 1. Oh. That's pretty good. Yeah. So it's just compound eyes. Wait. Wait, is it worse compound eyes? Well, it's good in doubles because it does all Pokemon. Hang on. It's literally worse compound eyes. Compound eyes multiplies by 1.3. Yeah, but you can you can have also uh, you can put a what is it? Scope lens, wide lens. Yeah. One Victini, and now it's 1.2 or something. I don't know. True. And then just have like a full party of Victini. No, 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 no. It, no that only works in doubles. Oh, for a point, for a point. But anyways, where do we put Victini? Or in triple battles, because that was a thing in Gen 5. Yeah. It's a Trick Room user? Why would you use this as Trick Room? It, I feel like this is just like a spec spot, like their standard uh, legendary spec spot. Yep. Correct. Yeah, so where do we put this? Oh my god, dude, the Arceus. There's <laughs> just so many of them. <laughs> the worst part is, it's not even like official artwork of Arceus outside of- It's just sprite work. It's Gen 9. It's Gen 9 sprite. Except yeah, for... right there. Oh, right here? Yep. Okay. I'm down for that. I don't know much about Victini, so... It's fair game. Yep. Me neither. Nor do I care. It, this is called the Cobalion. Are you fine with that? No. Yeah. Alright, where are we putting He can go above Moltres. No, 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 no. He, he can stay in D, but he's he's pretty high D. He's like, he's better than Celebi, but I don't think he's better than Latias. I'm gonna disagree that he's better than Celebi. Let me show you why. Oh. Uh. Look, look, look at its base attack and special attack. Okay. Yeah. Now you see. Yeah, but also it has justified. And how's it gonna get that? Swap into it when someone uses a dark type move. That's a fair point, but. And That's... it will take it'll take it pretty well. Yeah, just switch in on a. Uh... Yeah, put it there. That's fine. Yeah, Terrakion is the best. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. Actually, what tier is Terrakion? Are you BL? None of them are good. I hope you know. Unless if their name is, uh, uh, wait, Iron Boulder or Iron Crown? No, Iron Crown is pretty dog shit as well. No, is that Iron Crown's a- isn't Iron Crown's double spawn? No, it's OU and, uh, Nathex. Now look at Iron Boulder. This better be an Uber. It's underused. Bullshit. <laughs> Look at its signature move. Oh, what is this? Okay. I don't actually. Do we'll get. We'll get plate. to this. We'll get to this. Oh yeah, we will eventually get to that in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. That shit is. That shit is broken in singles, but not very good in doubles. Yeah. Like. Yeah. But still, Terrakion is the best, but he's still a D tier. <laughs> yeah. Let's put Terrakion above, above Celebi. Celebi. I'm still Verizion, scared, right? bad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Verizion's definitely bad. Verizion's best in speed. It's the worst speed, of three. Right? Best in speed, right? I don't know. All I know is that it's the worst of the three. Yeah, so by default, behind Cobalion. But I think Regigigas is better than it. Oh, it's best in special defense. What? Yeah. Oh, no, best in HP. Well, no, actually, no, no. No. That's in special defense. Yeah, I'm stupid. I'm reading the I, uh, the actual full stats. Why do you read that? I don't know. I read the left side first, and then I immediately read the HP. Anyways, not a very good mod. 
overall. I'd say this. True. Tornadus. Uh, Actually, no. Put it below. Put it below. Oh, that's all because that's all funny. Put it below, Luxie. You might cut out. What was that? No. All right, fine. But I feel like Luxie's definitely underrated. Oh, it is, and I I'm pretty sure it's better. But as all deserves to be there. Well, yeah, no, but I'm saying Uxie goes above no, 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 Rizzio. No, don't worry. No, 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 no. Actually, it's no, it's... No, Azov is worse than Verizion, but it goes above Verizion because they're very similar. Yeah. Uh, only just because it has explosions, that's funny. Yeah, but Uxie, I'm saying legitimately, is better than Verizion. I don't care about Azelf. I'm fine with Azelf being there, because I think that makes sense and it's also funny. But Just Viridian... leave it! Alright, fine. Tornadus... Uh, Nobody cares Incarnate. about these two anyway. Fair enough, but Incarnate Tornadus. Um, good. But how good? Incarnate Tornadus is definitely Pretty good. B2 or above. B2 minimum. Put it in B. I'm gonna say this now. I'm gonna say it's better than Deoxys Attack. Hear me out. Tailwind. Okay. Fine. Prankster. Yep. No, Therian. I'm, I'm not the screen. Therian is worse because it doesn't have Prankster. It's ranked higher than normal Tornadus. Incarnate Tornadus. Probably just because of a generator. And then what? No. It, no, no. Tornadus is better. Which Tornadus is better? <laughs> you just say Tornadus is better, but Incarnate. which Tornadus? Yeah, okay. Incarnate is definitely better in my opinion, but... I don't know what Therian's deal is. It's not that bad. They're very, very similar. So, like, this similar? Or this similar? Sure. Okay. Actually, no. You... I wrong. said... Okay. Yeah, I'll talk about that. Incarnate Tornadus. Or Thunderous, excuse me. Thunderous. Same story, very similar. But where was this? But... Ooh, wait, Na Incarnate Nasty Plot? Or sorry, uh, Prankster Nasty Plot. Mm-hmm. It's better than... It's better than Tornadus, definitely. Like, this better, or this better? That better. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I I'm gonna agree. And and then, Therian, I think it has... Volt Absorb. Defiant, right? Volt Absorb, I believe. Yep. Volt Absorb. Which one has Defiant? Oh, he passed... I believe he passed that. Oh, wait, no. No, wait, it's Landorus that does. Oh, no, 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 it's, the, it's uh, the, the genie's uh, hidden abilities. Yeah. But where would we put Therian toward Thunderous? Exclusive to the Dream Radar. <laughs> or Black Why? B. Was that D or B? B. Yeah, but where in B? This? Not above Tornadus, Therian. Sure, there. Okay. Reshiram. Good. Very good. Also, just saying Zekrom is way cooler. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken- wait, what was that? I like Zekrom more, just as Pokemon. I agree. Actually, no, I like both equally. Dragon Dance? I oh wow, Dragon Dance on the special attacking Mon? What an idea. <laughs> yeah. 
Does it get special boosting moves? No. I mean, maybe, but they're not very good if it does. Wait, no. Why did I mark that as special? Status. No, it does not. Yeah, that feels very weird. Well, I mean, it's not like you need it. It's just... Koi Specs Blue Flare, and they're just dead. Fair point. Where do we put this? Definitely in A tier, or at the very least, top of B tier. No, it's it's better than... Mewtwo, but not better than Arceus. Fair. I'm fine with that. And that then I think Zekrom is better. Oh yeah, Zekrom's definitely better, because it can utilize Dragon Dance. Yeah, but put it above Arceus. I'm fine with that. Yeah, they're, they're very similar, though. Landorus Incarnate. Not bad, but way overshadowed by Therian. Definitely. I, what is Even though Therian is kind of garbage in Gen 9, but... Therian is, but it's still ve very good. It still does its job, just not as well as Great Tusk. But that's besides the point. I actually don't know what Sand Force does until now. This Pokemon's Ground Rock Steel attacks do 1.3 times damage in Sandstorm. And then it also gets Sheer Force. So, yeah, it's better than the other genies. Definitely. But... Just put it above Kyogre. Really? Yep. Okay. Now what we about... have a pattern. And what about... <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. But what about Therian? That's A tier. We have a pattern. If this was... <laughs> no. <laughs> Definitely A tier. If this was Gen 8 doubles, this would be the best Pokemon in the game because it was. Def Definitely, yeah. Uh, I'd say it's... Would we say it's better than Arceus Electric? Yeah. Intimidate, that's a lot. Palkia? Yep. Yeah. There. Yeah. Yeah, that shirt. Sure, that works. Yeah. Yeah. And then now we're Hiram, which is unfortunately not very good in its fate. No. <laughs> is it really that bad? Wait, it's oh you. Oh. Huh? Does it only get pressure? Does yeah. Does it only get pressure? Yeah. yeah. Oh wait, no, you know what it is? They got he got Dragon Dance and Dual Wing Beat this gen. Mm-hmm. Okay, he is not as bad as I thought he was. And his stats are honestly pretty cool. He also just gets a Draco. Mm -hmm. You can send out a random Draco if you wish. Honestly? Wait, what's He's not speed? here. What's the speed? Okay. Not bad. It's not bad. He, he's not D tier. He's C tier. He, no, he's he's better than he's better than Manaphy. Mm -hmm. eh. Okay. Because I, I think like I feel like they're more equal. Manaphy, Zapdos, and uh, Kyurem. They feel like yeah. a bunch. But if I had to pick one, Manaphy is the best out of all of them. Zapdos is the second best. No, sorry, Kyurem's the second best. No. Zapdos is the third. Yeah, put, put Kyurem in the middle then. Yeah. That feels best because, like, Kyurem can learn Dragon Dance, he can set up. He's also got Dragon Cheer. Uh, Alright, Black Kyurem. You want to throw that in S tier? Uh, where would we put it? <laughs> In S tier, above he, or below? He is the bottom of S tier. Yeah, I agree. Like we, nothing goes below him. Yeah, because he gets, he has the same move set as, um, Kiram and Zekrom combined, right? Uh, I believe so. Yes. Yeah. So if it gets Dragon Dance. And it's that broken? Yeah, that's fine. Now, what about White Kyurem? 
Better than... I'd say that's... Like, right before Rayquaza base form. Select this? Yeah. Okay. I'm down for that, because I don't really know Kyurem all too well. I've never used one. I just know Kyurem was shit in, uh... Gen... 8. I'm like, very early Gen 9, but... I don't know anymore. What tier is Keldeo? Well, he wasn't in the game very early Gen 9. He came in in Indigo Div. Yeah. Okay, both Keldeos Keldeo. are you. Oh yeah, right. Sword to Dance. Flip turn. He gets awkward jet. Yeah. Flip turn. He gets close combat. I'd say Brick Break's also kind of good. Yeah, he's not. Liquidation. I would run Sacred Sword personally. Yeah. <laughs> Mega Horn. I still hate how Secret Sword is called Secret Sword, and it's a special move. That still bothers me. I didn't even know Secret Sword was a move. I thought it was only Sacred Sword. Yeah, no, it's a move. Wait, why are we talking about physical attacks? He's a special attacker. Yeah. You wanna know something I just realized? I'm pretty sure Secret Sword is his move. It's his, it's his signature move. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, anyways, he's got Surf. Secret Sword, Skull. <laughs> oh, well, Secret, Secret Sword is basically a special attack. Uh, a physical attack. It does... It's like Psy Shock, Psy Shock and Psy Strike. Oh, yeah. Hydro Palm. I, I, fuck it, Icy Wind. Focus Blast. Okay, obviously Aorus here. Air Slash is also cool, too. You know, I'm fine with... Putting the... I feel like both Keldeos are equal, but I just gotta see what the other form's stats, is, stats are. So, no difference in stats. Mm hmm So, what is the point? We're putting them together. Or but we... Resolute goes above it because it looks fuller. Fair point. But where do we put the Keldeos? C. But where in C? Like, lower C? I say below Zapdos. Yeah. That just feels good. We got Meloetta. Meloetta can do some fucking work. Not to mention, that's a serene brace. That's why it can do some fucking work. That's serene grace. It's a physical or special? Uh, this one's special, and I believe pirouette is physical. Yes. Wait, does pirouette just get completely different moves? Wait, no. They- they won. Yeah, they're the same Pokémon! Yeah. So... Yeah, I like- I like this. This is cool. Mm -hmm. Regular Meloetta is better than Pirouette, though. Really? Yeah. It is. It just is. Okay. Yeah. So we're basing this and you want to hear my argument? You, you want to hear my argument of that? For why that is? I have the FBI on the other line. I have the FBI on the other call. I have the dumbest argument ever. Oh, uh, what's the argument? The average special defense for all Pokemon is two points lower than the <laughs> average physical defense. <laughs> okay. So, where would base Meloetta go? <laughs> I'm just gonna have, like, when I live stream at some point in like 20 years. There. There. Okay. And then why well, assume this? I was gonna say that, but nah. 
So what, this goes It's back worse. Backward? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I feel like it wouldn't be better than Keldeo, though. Right? No, it wouldn't be. Yeah. Oh, god, this little retard. <laughs> this is my favorite mythical of all time, by the way. I want to say that. That's, that. What the fuck is wrong with you? I love Genesect. <laughs> I love this man so much. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I think mine is Diancy, so whatever. I have the FBI on the other line. Why is it your favorite? <laughs> because it was my first good Pokemon card that I ever got. It was a Mega Diancy. That, that's my same re- uh, It's not my same reason, but it's my first mythical I got on a card, I believe. This yeah, I had a Mega Diancy time. EX, and it was fucking garbage, but it, I liked it, so whatever. I had a full art Genesect as a kid. Just straight up mm. full art Genesect. Uh, I had a full art Primal Groudon. Ooh, nice. And a full out Groudon. Mm -hmm. And a full art Mega Manectric. Also, the Genesect was not an EX. It was just Genesect. Yeah, yeah. No, I figured. Okay, well, it's that was from like a mythical event, but we're getting sidetracked. Where do we put the Genesex? You can do whatever the hell you want with these. I don't know anything about Genesex. Well, firstly, let me just give you an idea. They're an Uber, all of them. They get download as their ability. And this is their move pool. It's a very, very big move pool. You can do whatever you want with them, because let me tell you, I have never used Genesect. I have. It does not go in A tier, though. That's uh, that's what I can say. I'm gonna disagree. Hear me out. No, it's high B. This is the stats. I don't care. Yeah, look at that. That's high B. We chuck on shift gear, we chuck on I don't Technoblast. My guy, it's bug steel. <laughs> okay, and it's an Uber. Yeah. And you're saying it's better than Kyogre? Oh absolutely, yes. Fuck it. I don't care. Just for you, I'll put it below Kyogre. Low, no, low, low A tier. Fine. Okay. But like, bottom of A tier. It, it, it is not better than whatever Arceus Electric, I think. Yeah, it's Electric Arceus. Uh, yeah. I, I okay. got the and then rise. they all can just go in the same tier because they're yeah, like no difference. But I got a question. Do you think Genesect with a base, it's base 120 power, right? I have to make sure. Where's Technoblast? Technoblast? Technoblast, here we are. Base 120. Which one do you think is better? Okay, so... so uh, normal I don't know is... what they are! I don't right. know what they are, dude! Let me explain, let me explain. So, basically, Technoblast changes its type depending on what drive Genesis is currently holding. So, this is normal Genesis. Yeah, I don't... This, it, it becomes a normal type move. The douse drive becomes water. Yeah. Do you think that's better than the normal? I'm yes. Joking? Okay. Literally any type is better than the normal one. Is electric better than water in normal? Yes. Okay. Is fire better than electric, water, and normal? On Genesis. No, but it's better than normal. And then lastly, ice. That's a really good move. <laughs> yeah, base 120, one, is it 100% accurate? Yeah, 100% accurate, base 120 water type, or ice type move. That's really good, because ice type is really good offensively. Yeah, so I guess that's the best one then? Yeah, that's the best one. Alright, cool. So, that's the Genesex rank, and that's Not Gen that you 5. can tell the difference at all. This is how many Pokemon we have left. We have not a whole lot left. And by not a whole lot, we have four generations left. And oh. we've gone through like half of the Pokemon. Yep. 
Not even half, because that goddamn Silvalli and all the Ultra Beasts. And Paradox. Yeah, not even half. Alright, well, firstly, Mega Mewtwo X. Where do we put this man? You know, it's weird. In 1v1 situations, it's actually better than Y. Yeah, that makes sense. Kind of. And it's also better than Mega Rayquaza in 1v1 situations! <laughs> Yeah, like, if there is no other team to swap to, if it is down to the wire 1v1, it is gonna come out on top more than Mega Rayquaza is. Yeah, so, well, I assume this is S tier, or like, top of A tier, firstly. Top of A, because that's not really always gonna happen. Yeah, but that's fine, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. <laughs> just, just, yep. Found yep. our new best Pokemon. Deoxys Speed has been dethroned. It's Mega Mewtwo Y. And uh, Mega Mewtwo Y is gonna be dethroned very, very soon. Yeah, very, very soon. <laughs> we have lot Mega Latias. Where do we put Latias? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. Uh, right above Latias? Yeah, did, did their stats change? I don't know. I think drastically. Uh, special defense becomes 150, special attack becomes 140, defense becomes 120, attack becomes 100, and that's it. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's that's way better than regular Latias. Yeah, so by default, it's better than Latias. So it's in C tier or higher. Low B. Yeah, I feel like it's better than... It's better than Arceus Bug. It's Arceus... Oh yeah, it's Arceus Bug. Is it better than Arceus Ice? Yes. Hello? I'm gonna say no. No. Yeah. Mega but this Latias one is better than ho oh. Yeah. The Mega Lati Oaks. That's better than ho oh. Yeah. I'm gonna edit this video and I'm gonna be super confused as to what the fuck is going on. <laughs> oh yes you are! Oh yeah, I am. Thank god I'm actually recording this audio. <laughs> am I recording- Were you, uh, were you there, right. uh, you know, um, uh, you know, uh, uh... Were you there in 1942 when Primal Kyogre became... this? Really, really way better than regular? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where do we- uh, Powell Kyogre is in S tier. No way it's not. Yeah. But where in S tier? Definitely better than Black Kyurem. I'm gonna say that. Th that's fine. Right where it is, it's fine? Yep. Now Primal Groudon goes right there. I disagree. Hear me out. Why do you disagree? It's Fire Ground. <laughs> Fire ground, you say? And it came You're forgetting about desolate land. But it came in the same time as Mega Rayquaza, who completely destroys it if it's sent out after. And if Primal Kyogre is sent out, then it screws it over. Correct. That's why you switch out. <laughs> but what if it's, your, it's a 1v1? You're dead! We're not talking about 1v1s! Yeah, that's We're fair. We're talking about, is it good in general? Yeah. I I'll put it over Sun Primal Ground on Sun is generally better than Rain, too. Yeah, you know what? You do have a point there. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, Mega V2Y has been dethroned for about... Three mi- <laughs> Has been had its reign for three minutes. <laughs> it had its, uh... Uh, best in the game right, move for on. one year. Uh, Arceus Fairy. Not as good as Psychic.
it's it's an A tier. An A, the fairy is a very good type. What's that? Fairy is a very good type, but it, it, I don't know where it goes in A tier. It's better than base arc. Yep. Yeah, that's just fair. That just makes sense. Do we put it above? Actually, Arceus put Dragon? it below Rick Mason. Put it below okay. Rick Mason. I'm fine with that. Yeah, that works. It's one of the easiest Arceus to tell apart from the others, in my opinion. Yeah. Until you look at it in game. Yep. No, 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 no. No, that goes in S. But no, 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 no. Bottom of S. No. Thought... Yes. No. Right there. Yeah, that's that's where I had it before. Yeah, just power. But the only way Geomancy. Yes. Yeah. But it's also not that good at the same time because it's. I don't know. Nobody uses it. I don't know why. Many people do use it still. That's why it's an Uber. Yes, but I don't see it very often. That's fair. I see it quite often, though. We have the Yaveltal, man. Yaveltal. Yaveltal! <laughs> no, it's A tier. It's pretty... Oblivion Wing is a dumb move. Definitely better than Genesect. Is it better than Arceus Electric? Yes. I just feel like it's better than Palkia. Better than Eveltal. Better than Groudon. Better than Thunder. Oh, sorry, Groudon. <laughs> I said I call Groudon Eveltal. <laughs> better than, uh, than uh, Landorus here. Arceus Fire. Giratina. Put it above Mewtwo. Okay. 50% Zygarde. Not very good. Yeah. Also, we're talking about, like, not 100%. This is just, by default, 50% Zygarde. Yeah, not very good. So where would we put it? I feel like it's, like, a B tier. High B. High B. Like, I'd put it right below Kyogre. Oh, okay. I'm done with that. Because the moves... Its signature moves are really good. Yeah. Then we have the answers. Honestly, underrated, I feel. Definitely underrated, but it's not very good either. I think it's better than Zygarde, but I don't think it's better than Kyogre, so right there it works. Let me actually just see something really quick. What's the Yancey's ability? Is it Clear Body? Yeah, it's Clear Body. Yeah. Yeah, that's literally all I wanted to see. I kind of agree. I'm not a big DNC fan. I mean, I'm a big DNC fan, but I'm not like the biggest user of it competitively. I don't. Oh, me I neither. I. I. It's just. It just weirdly good because of how bulky it can be, and it just. It can just be bulky and tight, and then throw out stealth rocks and shit. I know nothing about Mega Diancy other than that Pokemon card I had that one time. Okay. Magic Bounce. Yeah. Okay. Yep. But I don't think it goes there. Alright, hey. Let's take a look at Mega Diancy. It's got Magic Bounce. You gotta remember, you don't have an item here, so... That's true. But it is ranked three tiers higher than normal Diancy. You can go boom... <laughs> Oh, right, yep. No, that's fine where it is. Yeah. Yeah. No, put it but, below the Arceuses. Which of the- like, all of these? All- all three of them. I feel like this. Okay, that works too, yeah. Because- Like, Arceus- you know, Usually, yeah. in like- Oh, wait, nope, nope, hang on. There you go. Yeah, usually if I see a Dianthe, it's never Mega Evolving. They, there's always a Pokemon that is going to Mega Evolve instead of it. Yeah, but also, doesn't it learn Iron Defense? Yes, that's yeah. why it's good. But not to mention, it does have uh, 110 base special defense, and if we give this... Uh, I don't know, sure. 
That looks torturous. Hang on, let, let, let's save ourselves. No, e no let, let, let's save ourselves. Perfect. 350. No, you're probably gonna go physical with this guy. Eh, I don't know. Because, like, does body it press? Get body it does get body press. Then, yeah, you're going... You're... Uh, yeah, no, yeah, you're gonna go special with that. Yeah, and just have body press on the side. Uh huh. You can just rock body press. You don't even need iron defense. Uh huh. So. But with regular Diancy, you would. Yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Poopa confined. Eh? I don't know how to feel about this one. I know unbound. Can we like unbound first? Sure. I feel like unbound goes here. Or here. Either what of these. What the fuck is wrong with you? Choice scarf? Who put unbound goes crazy. Why are you putting it in C tier? Like, I'm thinking like one of these two spots. Oh! No, that's. that's. At least high B. Okay, I'm completely down with that. I feel like he's better than Kyogre. Uh, I feel like this is like this. I disagree with that. Who put on being better okay. than Kyogre? I mean, hyperspace fury is absurd, but yeah, yeah. Koopa confined. Then... What tier is this thing on? <laughs> Are you? What does this do? It gets calm mind. Doesn't it get nasty plot? It does. And nasty plot, I would go calm mind because you know. Yeah, that's fair. Also gets trick room for slow speed. And again, you could just scarf this thing and then do something else. You know, you like could, you don't yeah. need to go calm mind. It also gets you can go. Save. Yeah, so like you can you can scarf it and go offensive, or you could just use it as utility. Yeah, I feel like this would be something. Wait, isn't is there a defense boosting, like just defense, not special defense, defense boosting item that isn't a very. Wow. Oh. Yeah, there should be. Oh. Wait, never mind. Blissey would be OP at that case. In that case. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's pretty good. Destiny Bond is funny. <laughs> does it go boom? No, it does not. It does not go boom. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. That's I'm... how I feel about this whole tier list. If it goes boom, it's F tier. If it don't, then it's F tier. I need to see if Arceus can go boom. Can he go boom? Can he go boom? No. Please go boom. I mean, does Parish Song count? <laughs> no. <laughs> he does not go boom. He can't go boom. Maybe he can. Wait, wait, wait. No, maybe he can. Oh, wait. We didn't check these. Cannot go boom. Uh, with explosion. He can't go boom. He can't do Misty Explosion. What if he has self destruct? <laughs> I'm checking. I'm checking. No self destruct. Arceus is garbage. I don't. I need to check the Hoopa moves or the uh, the usually useless moves. Check for self destruct. I'm I'm seeing Misty Terrain first. No Misty Terrain. Or sorry, Misty Explosion. Cannot go boom. <laughs> All right, where was what Hoopa could find? Indeed. What's that? Top of B? Bottom of B. I feel like it's better than these, but not better than Mega Yeah. 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 Alright, Volcano. Volcano was broken. Now it's not really that broken anymore because Walking Wake exists. A what exists? Walking Wake. Oh, yeah, fair exists. Point. Yeah, literally a much better version. Yeah, 
get like water fire and it's like not safe, but you can get water is forty cents better. It's just Yeah. Hmm. Uh, he's better than Victini. I wouldn't say better than Shaman Sky though. Sure, yeah, right there. Best Volcanion does go crazy. Or Scarf Volcanion. Yeah. Zygar okay. 10 Zygar 10%. Moving on. I don't know anything about Zygar 10%. It's not very good. Sorry, she did. Wait, what's that? I think you Also, for the longest time, I thought this was a 15%. It's 10%. Yes. I am going to disagree with that. Not in I don't think it's that good. Really? No, it's S tier, but I don't think it's that good. No. One lower. That's where I would put it. Okay, I'm fine with that. As long as he's an S tier, I'm happy. Yeah, he's 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 not broken. That's the thing. Like he yeah. he's broken, but he's not broken. Yeah. Then we got Type Null. Now, as a Type Null enthusiast, this shit is garbage. Hear me out. Evil no. Type Null is better than Savali in every single way. No. Here's the proof. Oh, hang on. Battle Armor, right? Can't be struck by a critical hit. Very good ability. That's decent. This is the stats. Not very good. Let me. Let me. Wait, 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 what's it? BST. Uh, BST. Five hundred thirty-four. As a not fully evolved Pokemon. Okay, that's actually not bad at all. Put this. Give this man Eviolite. You know, you can give him a bunch of other moves. First, he's got Iron Defense. If you want to go, do that. I don't know why you would, but you could. Okay. Now let's look at Savali. Firstly, RKS system, just memory stuff. It's kind of dog shit. Much better moves, but in turn, his stats are even. 570. Wait, wait, let me see its stats again. Uh, this is its stat pool, and it's uh, base 570. Oh, wow. The XL Valet is not very good. Yeah. He's Dollar Tree Arceus, essentially. Yep. And that's why I'm saying Savalt or Type Null is better, because like you can give this man Eevee Light, can't be struck by critical hits, and you can give him some pretty solid moves as well. He's got priority with or well not priority, but Alright, here's what I'll say. Yep. I think base Silvali is better than Type Null. Okay. But every memory one is worse. I agree. I completely agree. So we can put normal types of volley above type normal. Yeah, because they're both not very good anyway. Yeah, but I feel like Eevee Light type normal is better than the, the other 17 Savalis. Let me just leave those unranked, please. Alright, welcome to type ranking simulator. Just put them all in F tier. Put them all. <laughs> no. They're at the top of E tier, or bottom of E tier. These were the ranking types now, now it's a type tier list. <laughs> do that. Except they all go bottom of D. That's fine. Uh, I don't, don't know. They're if, not. I don't know what type this one is. Dragon. Um, just put them down. It doesn't do anything here for four hours, dude. We're like three hours deep. We're not going to be here for, like, that long. Alright? If we reach the power line normally, yes we are. We're already halfway done. I don't know what type this- I uh, know, this is flying. Uh, no. I'd say for... 
What's a really offensive type? Dragon? No. Yes. Kind of. For drag, dragon should be butter, above Mesprit, but that's the only one that's above Mesprit. That's on top. Um, oh, this is steel, so this is gonna go right, right here. No, right here. This one. Wait, no, this one. This is ground. What am I saying? This one's steel. And this one is water. Where is Ghost? Ghost is right here. Put that. Put that Reggie Steel. What is that? Put it above what? It's above Reggie Steel. Really? Okay. Also, I can't tell what the hell you're saying. The mic is super disturbing. Yeah. Better? Yeah, much better. Alright, how about now? Uh, much better, yeah. It's very good. Okay. The then, Coco. Yeah, I... Yeah. Coco, uh, it's the best one. I'm gonna disagree with that. I don't think Coco's the best one. I think Blue is the best. The grass type is the best- Get the fuck out. I'm joking, by the way. Thank god, I- But I also don't think Blue is the worst. I think Foodie is the worst. <laughs> Fair. So where do we put Coco? My shiny hunter and ultra sun. I, my, mine is shiny. Because of that one of sun movement that was free. Yeah, I had a I had a shiny card of that. I love shiny Coco. It was in the anime too, but anyways. All of them are all of the shiny ones are good. They're they're incredible. Yeah, if we're ranking shinies, these are S tiers. Not Bulu. I think Bulu is S tier too. I love all of them. Well, I think Coco has the mm. best one. But that's besides the point. Where do we put Coco? Above Heatran. Alright. Lele time. Where do we put Lele? Lele. Not bad. Not bad. But I worse than Coco. Yeah, that works. Actually. Yeah, sure. Lulu. Also, I like how far apart Cresselia and Darkrai have gotten at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait, they've actually gotten super far. <laughs> yeah. Alright, uh, where do we put the Bulu? Uh, hi, C. Oh, wait, no. Hi, C. Sure. All right, Feeny. Right next to him. Uh, yeah, and slightly worse. Yep. Yep. I don't think we have any questions. Cosmog is the worst legendary on the tier list, no doubt about it. And Cosmo is a very close runner up. Yep. No. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I know another legendary going in here. But anyways. Solgaleo. Like, this territory. Oh, wait. Is the other one Poipol? No. Poipol's actually not bad. Poipol is a baby. I'm talking about Meltan. Mel yeah, Meltan. Yeah, Meltan is so, sh so shit. Uh, yeah, yeah, um, lo lower, lower A. Below the Arceus. Yeah. Lunalo, better than Sogaleo. There. Yeah. 
Yep, that, that that's just fair. We don't need to question Solgaleo or Lunala. There's gonna be like some battles uh, with Lunala on screen. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Lunala. No, Cosmog Enterprises. We make <laughs> the best tool. This video is sponsored by the Gen 7 Legendaries. Because <laughs> the segment is so no, 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 long. No, 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 just Cosmog. <laughs> Nihilego. And let me tell you, we do not stay in the bag. <laughs> we fumble the bag every time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, because Togoleo and Lunala are actually pretty good, so. <laughs> we fumble the bag <laughs> nearly every time. We get that bag and more. <laughs> <laughs> we get out of the bag to give you the bag. <laughs> yeah, we need to give you this bag. <laughs> so stupid. All right, my Halego is right here. I don't think we need it. Yeah, my Halego is not very good. Buzzy, the buzz wool, the unite. Also, do you know what they're based on? No, actually. Supposedly invasive species, but there's also the seven sins kind of thing going on going on there. But also Pheromosa is now in a, leg a legitimate animal <laughs> or a legitimate bug. What? This thing is legitimately named after Pheromosa. Really? Yeah, it's called the Nocticola Pheromosa. After the cockroach ultra beast, so. But, and um, that's really that's really isn't that bad. Yeah, he's not bad. I'll probably put. Oh him yeah, in. um, I think you can tell because uh, the original seven ultra beasts, you know what uh, Buzzwall is based off of when it comes to the seven sins. Is it a good time to say that I don't I... know the seven sins? <laughs> oh my fucking god! <laughs> Alright, let me tell you then. We have wrath, lust, greed, pride, envy, sloth. Pride. Yeah, he's pride. I yeah, think but... I listed six. I don't know, man. All I will say is that Buzzwool just flexes every time. He is the flexing Pokemon. You yeah, he, he's my favorite. He's my favorite Ultra Beast. Yeah, I agree. I love him. Cortana is up there, though. Oh yes, yeah, so totally. But Pheromos is better than than. Uh... No, Pheromos isn't that good though. Like the Ultra Beasts were good, but they weren't that good. Look, what tier is Pheromos in? Uber. Yep. I mean, I, I'm still saying A tier, just not that good. Quiver not, dance. It's not like high A. Quiver dance. Yes. Rapid spin. Triple XL. I, I know those are physical attacks, but. Why do you say XL is Axel, you fucking dipshit? Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Plus, this thing gets roost. That's useless because you're gonna get one shot. Oh, also, here's a very fun fact. A very cool fun fact about every Ultra Beast. Every single one of the Ultra Beasts has an odd number for their stat. Yeah. Apparently, they're also based on invasive species, so. Yeah. This one makes sense. This one's a cockroach. Or the Noctipola Feromosa. It's not literally not the cool of Heromosa, because that wasn't a species until... Or, well, that was known to be a species until, uh... Like, what, 2023? Early... Late 2023, early 2024? Something like that? Anyway... Oh, uh, yes, late 2024, yep. Or, sorry, early 2024. Fuck! <laughs> yep, <Yeah>, okay. <laughs> now, this video isn't coming out until next year anyway, so... <laughs> Fair enough. Paramosa, we're gonna have this... Here. Uh, uh, yeah, there, that works. 
Berserker Tree. Kind of decent, but also not really. Put specs on this man and he could become a menace. Doesn't he have Tail Glow? Yeah, he's no. one of three Pokemon with Tail Glow. Mm. The was he two, the first? Uh, no, Volbeat was the first, and that was its signature move. Oh my fucking god, of course it was Volbeat. <laughs> <laughs> but the best part is Ilu Illumise didn't get it. Which I Isn't that the one with... It's, they it's... both have... What's weird about those two? They both have really good abilities, but then they're just bad Pokemon. Yeah. Also, Manaphy and Zergatry are in the same tier. And Volby gets Prankster? Yep. It's better than I thought. <laughs> Zergatry is definitely... No. Zergatry is definitely much better than I think. I think Zergatry goes above Manaphy. Yes. Actually, no, scratch that. Keep going. It, it goes above Deoxys defense. There you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm also fine with that, because Zergatry is very good. Like, his special attack stat is... No, he's not very good. He is decent. Because look at the other stat, they're not very high. Yeah. But in turn, he is very, 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 very strong. Yep. <laughs> God, the wall is still ally. No, I'm Cel joking. Celesteel is not good, but it's not that bad. <laughs> I know, I'm joking. I love Celesteel. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a dog shit Pokemon, but... Yeah. How about after Uxie? Okay. Yeah. No, that's fine. Where it is. Kartana, completely broken. It's the best Ultra Beast. It's not even close. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's a fair place to put Kartana. And I feel like... Actually... You know what? Never mind. Uh, moving on. Do, do, do we need to, Do we need to talk about Guzzlord? No, you know what? No, I'm wrong. Guzzlord's yes, better because Guzzlord. I love Guzzlord as a Pokemon. Oh, I love him too. I have two shiny Guzzlord. Both named Baraka Guz. <laughs> we're not gonna we're not gonna we're gonna we're not gonna wait, 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 you wanna just uh, you wanna just uh, play that and make fry real quick real quick? <laughs> yes! Yes! That's amazing. I forgot about that. Ah! <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I'm gonna get copyright striked. Okay. <laughs> don't play anymore. You don't. You don't want to get copyright. All right, that's fair. Let's get. Let's get through Gen Seven, and then the Chrome is actually underrated. That's that's B tier. Low B, but it's B. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Yeah, no. Yeah. Just above it. They're they're like the exact same. Um I'm what? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, put that above next to Why? What are you doing? Well, put it above what? Mega Mewtwo! Oh, okay! You want me to do that? Alright! I'm fine with that! Yeah, it's better than Mega Mewtwo! I, it... Yeah. Magirna's... You can do whatever you want with Magirna, I don't know anything about Magirna. Actually, you know what? No. But yeah, so hard. 
Yeah, absolutely S. It is so overpowered, it is insane. And original Magearna is rare because you need to finish a national Pokedex just to get it. So we're putting it above. Keep going! Marshadow! Also very good. <laughs> Not that good though, compared to- actually, you know what? Better than White Hero. Then go to the other Marshadow! Please! Just the seven, please! It, it, it's literally just the same Marshadow. This one's got green, so it's going above it. Hoi Pole! Not very good! I just kind of shit! Oh, what tier is it? NFE. I'm gonna put it above- Bad. I'm putting it above Fiona. Yes. It's got better stats, surprise for somehow. And you can and you can put an EV light on it. Yeah. Naganadal? Okay, you know what? You can do the rest of Gen 7. I gotta go. Uh like fully leave. No, I'll be back. Uber? But... Yeah, Naganato is really good. I love Naganadal. It's so good. I love him. Let's let's pronounce it how the anime pronounces it. McGonagall. Here's fine. I'm fine with that. Uh also recording since I'm by myself. Yay! Stack attack is actually surprisingly pretty good. It's just above Necrozma, because it's actually pretty damn good. Lacephalon. Not super good. It go boom even funnier. So I'm putting it above. Actually, you know what? It's the best thing in D tier. I know. You know what? We're moving Kia Trachium to the bottom of C tier. I feel like that makes sense. You'll probably not agree with it, but whatever. Celebi's better than Blacephalon and I'm probably putting Blacephalon right here. Actually, is Blacephalon good at symbols? No. What about Zero Aura? Oh, it's not good at all. Tragic man. It doesn't even have 100 on the board. Oh, it's so sad. Damn. I don't know, I guess I'll put Zero Aura like right there. Like, I don't know much about Zero Aura, so I'll just put it right here. I'll be completely honest with you, I think Meltan is worse than Cosmo. If I'm not mistaken, it is... Like... Oh, it's RU. Oh, wait, it, it's RU. Actually, it might be better than Cosmo. You can put EV Light on this, it's got Magnet Pull. Pre prevents opposing Steel type Pokemon from switching out. That's Actually, you know what? If you switch in Meltdown or switch in Metagross or something, Mega Metagross or something like that, that's not bad. It doubles at least. I don't know. Its stats are actually very high. Oh my god, what is this? Meltan is better than Cosmo. Cosmo, not better than Fiona. Yeah. I'm fine putting Meltan here. Mel Metal. Now this is the go. Mel Metal is a gosh. So where are we putting Mel Metal? We are gonna put Mel Metal right here. Yeah, that's actually the place to put Mel Metal. All right, and then I'm pausing the recording. Uh, no, you were not the only one to think Mel Tan, Mel Metal, or Gen Eight. Also, hit start recording. Did you also enough. think that? No. I always thought they were Gen 7. They're, they're like, they're in the middle because they're Pokemon Go. Yeah. Also, just so you know, before you continue, since you left, I'll tell you where I put those Pokemon before. Meltan and Aftir. Uh, Blacephalon and Zeraora are like near top of D. Uh... There's more. Sack Attack is bottom. I don't really care. Uh, no. What do you mean, no? Stack attacker. My Krozma is better. Alright, fine. 
And then I put Naga Needle in A tier and uh Yeah, Bum Boots there. I put someone else in this tier that I don't remember. Okay. No, no, that's it. No Mel Metal! Alright. We got the Gen 8 mods. Let me make sure I'm recording. Let me make sure my mic is yeah, okay, cool. Galarian Articuno. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't know anything about these three. Alright, well Galarian Moltres is definitely going in A tier. Galarian Zapto is probably very high B or low A. Articuno. Galar Galarian Articuno isn't the best. This is like a specs mod. Uh, basically, competitive, that's its ability, raised by two for each stat that's lowered. Got a good move pool for psychic moves, that's really about it. It does not have much coverage. So... No. No, it definitely, no. Not, definitely not D tier. I'll put it behind, uh, above, just above Latias. Both are very similar in what they can do. But I feel like Lot or Galarian mm. Articuno edges out slightly because of its ability. <laughs> edge. <laughs> the edge to my Microsoft. I'll delete my YouTube channel now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyways. Galarian Moltres. This one's gonna be the most tough to rank just because. Yes, I did scoop Galarian Zapdos. But, anyways. Galarian Moltres is very good. I feel like when this thing came out, it was the worst one, but now it's the best one. Yeah, like, is it, is it OU or Ubers? Oh no, it's now R-U-B-L. What happened? What happened? Well, all of them are bad in every T- They're all worse than the original, for some reason. They're all listed as worse, but they're not. But just saying, Berserk is not a very good ability. I think it got nerfed. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna have this separation. Okay. All right. Galarian Zapdos, I feel like is the best out of all of them. Purely because of Defiant. Yeah. So I think it goes above Buzzbull, but not not above. Actually, no. Change of plans. I can't say they're worse than Silvali. That I'm fine with. Pirouette, metal, uh, Pirouetta, Meloetta. Pirouette, Meloetta is better than Galarian Zapdos. Okay. Origin Dialga. Now, I don't know much about this. Also, I hate this Pokemon's design. Honestly, I like it. It's my favorite. No, this, the, uh, this shit looks like ass. It's my favorite of the Origins, I'll be honest. You're fucking insane. I know. It's the worst one by far. Hmm. But, do you know anything about Origin Dialga competitively? Nope. Is that a yeah or no? I don't know. Well, I feel like he's Origin good. That's yeah. about all I know. He, he's, he's, he's pretty good. I think he goes above Genesect. Actually, no, no, no. Scratch that. Above Palkia, but below uh, Groudon. True. Sure. Yeah. Now we got Origin Palkia. Oh, that's Genesect. Origin Palkia. This is the best design out of the Origin. People hate this one. Which always baffled me. I like that he's a horse. I like the haunts. Yeah. I will safely say Origin Palkia is better in the stats department. 
all around. He goes, yeah, it's just Palkia, but with better stats. That's it. No, there is I'm no saying, difference. I'm, I'm, I'm comparing it to Origin Dialga. Yeah. Because Origin Dialga has a very low speed stat. But Origin Palkia has a high You know speed what I'm going to say? I think this I think this little shithead is actually worse than regular Palkia. Really? No held item. Oh, fair point. Yeah, I'll put it literally and put down Di put down Origin Dialga too. Why? No held item. Fair enough, but I feel like Origin Dialga is Better than Orc and Palkia. That's where you're just wrong. Because Palkia is better than Dialga. Why was it? Why is that better? Like, explain. Uh, well, firstly, what am I looking at? What the fuck is that? What? What the fuck? What did you just put in the S tier? What the fuck is that? That's Gigantamax Mel Metal. What is said to be the best Gigantamax out of all of them. <laughs> I think. I think it's said to be the best. I don't know about you, but I think that's... Yeah, I'd say that's better than Mega Mewtwo Y. Um, it's a Gigantamax Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine with putting Gigantamax Mel Metal that high. Feels... doesn't feel like it, but I'm fine with it. Yeah, and... because it's, it's, it's a Gigantamax, like... That's really strong. Yeah. Well, in the HP department. Otherwise, not so much. Yeah. Um. But the reason why I'm saying Origin Dialga is better than Origin Palkia, well, firstly, Origin Dialga is slow and learns Trick Room, so he's good for Trick Room teams, if possible. There's and guess what's not good in single? Well, also, okay, to trick be fair, room. Trick Room is a very popular team setup. One of the best Pokemon in OU right now is Hatterene. Who is known for Trick Room. So, there's that. But, anyways. Uh, Origin Dialga gets Stealth Rock, which is always nice. Origin Dialga is more of like a stalling run, which is usually better than... As also, still Dragon type is very good. Compared to water, water Dragon, in my opinion. Plus, Dialga, Origin Dialga is more bulkier than Origin Palkia, if I remember correctly. So... There's Which makes Origin Palkia better. What? Here's what I say. Origin Dialga... No, not Origin. Regular Dialga is way worse than regular Palkia. Why is Origin Dialga better than Origin Palkia? Well, here, let's take a look at Origin Palkia, right? Got pressure, cool, all that, held item on, whatever. This is the move pool of Palkia, right? Pretty solid. Really fucking good. Yeah, pretty solid. He's got some cool stuff. One of the major issues I have with it is that he doesn't have any special attack boosting stuff. He's got both up. And nothing. He else. doesn't need it. That's the thing. He doesn't need it. Yeah, he doesn't need it. You're right. But I will say Origin Palkia is good. I'm not saying he's terrible. I'm just saying I think Origin Dialga is better. Now let me click no. Origin Dialga. Because this is his move pool. Just as good as Palkia's. What did I just do? Oh, there. Firstly, he's got a lot of more stalling moves. The stalling, I think, is better than the offensive in this case. No. No. The only thing I will say is useless is Trick. No. Wait, actually, does Trick work with Origin Dialga? Because if so... No. Because it's just Dialga's moveset, that's why he has that. Yeah. But also, Dragon-type moves- Steel and Dragon moves have 1.2 times power. Oh, 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 oh. Heavy slam. Yeah, you wanna know something? So does Origin Palkia! Origin Palkia is the exact same thing except it's Water Dragon. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying this something. because... Origin Palkia they, has the same moveset as regular Palkia. And Origin Dialga has the same moveset as regular Dialga. 
So let me tell you something. Why is Dialga so low, but Origin Dialga is better than Origin Palkia when they are literally the same thing, just a fucking set? There is no difference. Well, no. Firstly, the speed is different for Trick Room teams, like I said. Trick Room could be better than outspeeded. Oh my fucking god. I'm gonna keep no one... I will keep you happy. Trick Room. I yes, will keep you he happy. He is good in one instance. A singular instance, he is good. And but it's one of the best instances. Instance, he is dog shit. It's one of the best instances. Okay, yeah, sure, sure. But guess what? Origin Palkia just does can work in every instance. Nearly every Except instance. for Trick Room. Some teams. He also works in Sun Team. Ow. use a dragon type move he also gets fire type coverage does this yep. guy the water type gets drag fire coverage yeah he does all right well i didn't know that but i'm just gonna leave it like this i do think Origin yeah he gets like better. two fire type moves but they're both like actually decent what so. is it flame core or flame uh fuck what's what's the move i'm thinking of Flamethrower overheat? I don't know. I don't think... I don't know. It's... Flamethrower is one of them. Yeah. 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 Better. What the fuck are you doing? Zamazenta is not better than Magirna. It's literally better than Zacian. What are you talking about? What do you mean? Body press. Yeah. It's better than Zacian. Alright, I'll just do whatever you say. I'm tired to argue. Where do we put Hero of Many no, Let me Let me tell you... Well, let me... Let me tell you exactly why it's better than Zacian, though. Okay. So, it's better than Zacian, because Zacian is more frail, right? Like, it can't take as many hits. Even if you get hit by a, an earthquake from a stab, like... Like, stab earthquake, you're not dying as Amazenta, because your defense is just not, not very close to switch with that. You can stay in against a bad matchup, and you can still win. Mm -hmm. That's why I think it's better. If you're you just have to switch out. Yeah. Actually, I'm like gonna take primal. Here. Like if you're like say you're up against a drought on a Zacian, you're gonna want to switch. Yeah. So I guess but you don't have to with Zamazenta. So hero of many battles, Zamazenta is better than uh, hero of many battles, Zacian. No. No, really? How come? No, Zacian is slightly better, just because the defense isn't as high and attack step matters more when it's lower. I don't know if I agree with that, but I'll just do it anyways. Eternatus. Good. Very, very good Pokemon, but... Somewhere here. Top tier here. I think here. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. <laughs> and Mega Rayquaza just got dethroned. Yep. Long run, buddy. Now that I think about it, Deoxys Speed has had the longest run of three generations yeah, he did. since introduction. Before he got dethroned by Mega Mewtwo Y in Pokemon X and Y, and then got dethroned by Mega Rayquaza in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, which were the next games after. <laughs> which is so silly. Yep. But anyways, Eternamax Eternatus. this. Yep, no question about it. Base 1028. Uh, base stat total. No doubts about it. Insert Hackmon's footage right here. 
Cub Fu. Automobiles. Yeah, it's actually not that bad. <laughs> yeah, it's actually, weird. You know what? It, it, it's, it's terrible, but it's not as bad as people would think. Yeah, put Eevee Light on that man, and I mean, you got a level that shit up to level eight. Oh, Isle of Armor. Like they had to make it somewhat decent. Yeah, I'd say it's better than Shaman Landform. Sure. Yeah. Do I even need to do this? First, first, Urshifu. firstly. Oh wait, no, other way. Yeah, you gotta remember, single strike is better than rapid strike. In Gigantamax. In general. No, oh, what do you mean? Oh wait, no, never mind. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I'm dumb. Actually, you know what? I think. You know what? Yeah, move Mega Mewtwo X above Rapid Strike. I know Mega Mewtwo X is better than both. Put Mega Mewtwo X in S tier, but below the Pokemon we said we wouldn't put anything below. So no, 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 no. Mega Mewtwo X is now the barrier for entry to S tier. Okay. That's- I'm fine with that. Yeah. Now, where is Bidoof on this tier list? Did you add him? No. What is wrong with you? I don't know. Zerud, both normal and Dada Zerud. I hate this Pokemon. I don't know why. I really don't like this Pokemon. It's not my favorite, but I don't mind that. Good. Like, he's mainly good with Band. So, I'd probably put him here. And Dada's a root is just cooler. Sure. He's better than Zera Aura, but he feels like a replacement of Zera Aura, if that makes sense. Now mm -hmm. this, this, I don't even, do, 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 do we, do we need to? No, we don't need anything. That's really good Pokemon. Yeah. Actually, no, better than Maguna. Yep. No. That, that's a good place for him. Sure. Yeah, that's a good place for Reggie he like Yeah. Rago got buffed. Dude, this Pokemon had really good potential. Yeah. And then they made his defenses actually not that good. And then they nerfed his ability. They did? Yeah, they nerfed his ability. Right? What? Cause like Reggie, no, like he, he has Dragon's sit. Maw. Yeah, this got nerfed. Did this get nerfed? No, it didn't. I'm dumb. Still though, deserves to be two times. Got this man an Uber ASAP. He, he deserves it. He's good. He's fine. He's an awesome guy. Yeah, honestly, he's one of my favorite Reggies. He's so cool. I just wish it shiny was bright and blue, so it could be Snaz Undertale. What's your Glass tier in? Glass tier is okay. He's in the same tier. I think I'd put him like below Keldeo. Yeah. He's just so fucking slow. I think actually Betty Draco is better than Glass tier. Sure. Yeah. No, I agree. But Spectre is better than. Spectre, put that way up. Why put that top of that tier? Oh wait, what no, Spectre is an it? Uber. Yeah, what am I saying? Yeah, yeah no, put it there. Okay. I think here is a good place to put Spectre. It is not on the same level as Garton. All right, fine. I'll put it above the Hero of Many Battles. I'll put it below Arceus. Normal. No, it's not below Cartana. What are you saying? It's lower than Cartana. Like, it's not at the same level of it as it, so it's like, like, yeah, like, right there, yeah, like, right, right above I'm going to fix below Jirachi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <clears throat> you know what? Actually, I think Calyrex has more potential than all of these dudes. Yep. 
<laughs> but for the memes, we need more. Uh, we need more Pokemon in E tier. <laughs> and you know what? Just for the memes, we're putting some of these dudes in here. And by some of these dudes, I mean literally these four. Actually, no, these five. These five Silvali, because these are trash. Okay. Because it's rock, flying, ice, bug, grass. Yeah. Yeah. I think Calyrex is better than those. They got- Anyway, uh, Ice Rider... This is where I'll say, yeah, Trick Room makes it 30,000 times better. But if it's not Trick Room, it's not very good. Yeah. So I think, honestly, middle of the road, I'll put it right above Mewtwo. Go one more. Go one more? Go above... Go up one. Like, uh, no, up. Like, up. Yeah. Alright, I'm fine with uh, Ice Rider Calyrex being there. Yeah. This, better, yeah, better, this, better. No, this, no, this is right above Alternate Grosma, dude. Really? Oh, yeah, actually, no, yeah, you're right, fair enough. Shadow Rider dude, Calyrex is so Gen stupid. 8, Mac Dex AG, the only two Pokemon there were literally, like, like, it was Gen 8, Mac Dex yeah. AG. Though. Yeah. Oh. But it's still up there. He, he's still up there. Oh, yeah, Maridon, Maridon. Literally, Rhydon is fucking broken. And Maridon. Yeah, both are incredible, but I feel like Maridon's better, right? It is better. No, yeah. it's better. Alright. Actually, <laughs> no doubt. It's trash. Enamorous more. Incarnate is more doubles oriented. Yee! Yeah. I don't know what? anything about Enamorous, by the way. Uh, well, Enamorous Therian is actually not as bad as you think. It's, it's super powerful. I mean, contrary. its design is as bad as I think. I would say Choice Band, Contrary Superpower, which is the only ability Therian Enamorous has, and that can be pretty solid sometimes. Sometimes. But it's still not that good. In fact, you know what? I think Shaman is so bad, we're putting it into F tier. We're just moving it down a tier. No, it gets. Oh wait, no, you're right. I'm I'm dumb. I, I we made this argument before. It's got a hundred on each stat, so no. Yeah, and it has. Doesn't it have seed flare? I think actually just because of that, we're moving Shaman above Kung Fu, but Kung Fu stays right there. Yeah. Yeah, fucking Articuno. How does it feel to be in the same tier as these two fucks? Now, Great Tusk. I hate Sparadox Pokemon, by the way. You hate There's them? too many of them. I mean, yeah, fair enough, but like... Anyways, Great Tusk. Is it a good place to put Great Tusk? I don't know, dude. I don't care about them. <laughs> Alright, I think that's a good place to put Yeah, it's decent, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's decent. I'm sorry, man. No. Screamshield, what do you mean, no? Screamshield's not good. Screamshield isn't... It, but it's not that bad. It is it's that bad. It's not Cali Rex. It is not as bad as Cali Rex. Just for reference, Screamtail can barely do anything compared to Cali... In fact, actually, okay. I'd argue Cali Rex is better than Screamtail. And now, in doubles, okay. that's completely different. Screamtail is OU in doubles. Is okay. Very good in doubles. Continue. No, nope. Brute Bonnet. Actually, you know what? No. No, no, no. I can't be mean to this man. No, no way you're putting it in B tier. Man. There we go. Okay. I'm okay with that. It's literally just Among Us. <laughs> it's just stronger Among Us. So, like, I, I, can't, I can't complain about it.
Is that a fine place to put Fluttermane? <laughs> Um, no, because it's not very good in singles. Well, don't get me wrong, it's really good in singles, but it's it's not broken. Its max speed can go up to 405. Why don't you uh, just look 5 to the left there and see what, uh, you know, another speed stat? <laughs> yeah. But Fluttermane does have a lot of stuff it can, she can do to ruin the game. She's got a lot of stuff. She's got a lot of moves that are very good on her. And it's very hard to figure out what your, the Fluttermane is. not better do. than Mega Mewtwo X. All right, She's fine. not. I'll make it the Barrier Breaker. <laughs> we, you know, we've made like 14 no, no, barriers no, no, at this no, point. No. no, we've made Please, thank barriers. you, thank you. Best in A tier. Definitely that good. Yeah, it's right? not better than Mega Mewtwo X. I had to think about it, but yeah. I'd say actually they're equal, kind of, but very... No. Fair enough. Because Mega Mewtwo X can just one-shot you, and there's nothing you can do. Yeah. I'm putting Slytherwing and Sandy Shocks in uh, E tier. I'm just saying that. Slytherwing isn't that bad, is it? Oh, it's horrible. Literally the best thing oh. you can do is first impression, turn one, switch out, come back in first impression, make sure it's choice band, switch it out, switch back in, first impression. It is not good. At all. Okay. Okay. Insert Slithering footage on screen right now. And also, Sandy Shucks footage. I'm being harsh on Sandy Shucks, I feel. But it's the best I can do. Sandy Shucks, it just isn't good. Insert Sandy Shucks mm -hmm. right here. Now, Iron Treads. Thanks. No. Yes. No, Necrozma is better than it. I don't no. care what you say. No. D no. My bias is definitely coming out here, but no, you've got to put Necrozma above it. No, can't happen. I'm sorry, man. No. Yes. Necrozma is not that good. <laughs> yes, it is. Look at Necrozma's stats, dude. Wow, that 79 speed stab. That 89 special defense. Oh, wow, 79 speed. Well, wow, okay. 97 HP. Pretty bulky. He's got really good moves. Yeah, I'm actually like, looking come at on, dude. But now let's look at Iron Treads. Oh, you. Okay. Not a whole big move pool, but definitely much faster. Definitely got some good stuff on him for a Pokemon that's Ultra Beast level. You know, he can set up some hazards, he can get rid of hazards. <laughs> he can also use body press and where's his iron defense? There it is. Mmm, fine, but Necrozma deserves to be S tier because he's a very cool Pokemon. Ultra Necrozma no, is no, no, the fourth no. best so far! And Duskmane and Dawn Wings are some of the best in the game, too! Actually, throw Ultra Necrozma over Shadow Rider, actually. How come? Never mind. No, yeah. that's fine. Yeah, I wanna see something. 754. That's a very high VST. Alright. Bundle. Actually. No, you are not! What are you doing? This shit was in Gen 9 AG. Oh, you want me to put it higher? He, he was banned. He was banned. No, he's not that high. Yeah, right there. He was, he was literally banned. Like the first three Pokemon to get banned were it. Maridon and Fluttermane. Wasn't Karidon also banned? No, Karidon wasn't banned until way later. Okay. Iron Hands. Maybe the best raid one, but. He's not terrible, but he's not good. I think here is a good place to put him. Yeah, he, he's. He is. He's just there. Yeah. <laughs> He's ready to slap you in the face. Electric fighting is a pretty good type. 
I want to see something. Where's his belly drum? There's his belly drum. I bet nobody uses those. Because you can't use Citrus Berry with him because you need to your your booster energy. Yeah. Then you got Jugulus. Jugulus honestly isn't completely horrible. I'm not putting him here, I'm just putting him here for now. And I just want to see something. Holy shit, how many moves can it learn? Not a whole lot. Got a good amount though. It's okay. Definitely better than the Savalis. He's better than Iron Man. Oh yeah, much, much better. I'd actually argue... He's here. No. Put him with the Galarian Zapdos. I'd say he's better than Galarian Zapdos, but not better than pure What do you mean? Water. What do you mean? That's what I mean. Put him with... Yeah. Yeah, okay. I thought you just said, what do you, what do you do? Like, uh... Putting Iron Moth above Landorus Therian. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Which I just did. Okay. Yeah, you can't complain about that. Because I look look on screen on the video. When the video comes out, you're seeing Iron Moth footage. That Iron Moth is sweeping with booster energy, max special attack, just because he spammed Fiery Dance and he got lucky six times in a row. No comment. Just... Just no. Sag, but fair. I'm also moving Slithering just one point to the right, because I think I, Rock isn't as bad as I'm thinking for Silvali. Hmm. Iron Thorns, Sag, but fair enough. Yeah. We got Woshien. Moving on. He's bulky. But yeah. he's also grass dark. Which is four times weak to fighting and bug. Yep, four times weak to fighting. Yeah, and bug. Which isn't good yep, because definite, most yep. Pokemon know you. Grass is weak to fighting apparently, yep. Oh shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> he's still four times weak to bug, which is not good. Considering yeah, because U-turn is one of the best moves. Most can learn U-turn, yeah, and or X scissor, you know. Yeah, Shen Pao is really good. I think here's a good. No, one he's not. Him. No, he wasn't banned. What do you mean? <laughs> like Iron Bundle was. Wasn't he? Is he here? In no, he is here. I remember he- oh wait, no, he, I'm thinking of something different. I'm thinking of when he was unbanned from Uber. <laughs> yeah, he was unbanned from Uber when uh, the Pokemon Home update came out. Mm. I, I think that this is a good place to put Shen Pao. Yeah. Yeah. Tenglu. Uh, he, he's just kind of worse Zacian, you know? Yeah. Tinglu, this is a good... Nah, no. Okay, yeah. if this wasn't competitive, he would be the best one, because he can learn Fisher. Yeah, and Fisher was allowed in competitive play one time, Ting when Tinglu was allowed in competitive format. When he was mm -hmm. unbanned... And yeah. He was broken. This is pretty much just equal to Xian Pao. But better. Yeah, Shen Pao's ice. Actually, so, you know yeah. what? I think Chiu is better than Ice Rider Calyrex, just because it's Ice Rider Calyrex, which is kind of a big flaw. Yeah. Chiu's just Fire Dark, which isn't good, but it's not the worst compared to Ice Psychic. <laughs> oh, so sorry, Gra isn't it Grass Psychic? No. Psychic Ice. Okay. Yeah, I was right the first time. Then you got Roaring Moon. 
Really? Not, not very good. Isn't it an Uber in this team? In this? Yeah, it's Uber. Yeah, but he's just solid. You know, he's not. It's not crazy. He's, he's okay. If this he's video gets good. if this video gets popular and Pokemon fans actually see this, they're gonna be like, "What the fuck are you talking about? This tier list is trash." <laughs> I put him in B. He's better than Shaman Sky. Come on. I'm gonna make a rash decision. Put him above Hoopa Confined and we're fine. Uh, who he? Alright, Moon? He. 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 Correct. Mm. No. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> Iron Much Valley. Much better. Better than Roaring Moon. I would say not better than Megalathias. Actually, no, I'm wrong. Not better than Ho. Sure. Bro, I'm running out of time again. <laughs> what do you mean? What are you doing? Keep going. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 too far. <laughs> Before Zashian. Before Zashian. And what, Koridon? And Koridon also goes there. I feel like actually here is better. No, they're, they are, yeah, you know. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Anyways. Fine. The wake. The wake. Really fucking good. Yeah. That fits. The wake is in the house. Show screen, show on screen choice specs walking, wake sweeping. Look at the leaves. Sadly, not super good, but I think better than stack attack and not better than shaman's guy, so it goes right here in C. What about you? What do you think? Yeah. Stupid fucking dog, not very good. That's a good place for Okie Dogie. Yeah. Actually, no. No, no, I'm a liar. I'm also a liar. Still a liar. There you go. Monkey Dory, way better than- no. He's way better than Okie Dogie. No. I want to tell you now, Wolfie thinks this is the worst legendary outside of not fully evolved ones. He's wrong. But why don't you, uh, real quick, take a look at his, uh, moves. Not many good ones, but the ones that are good are pretty good. Now what's where he is? Are you? He's got, like, never mind. I, I think the issue. No, he's good. No, he's garbage. No, nope. <laughs> yeah. he's garbage. Yeah, now you see. Now you see. <laughs> Now you see why he is... You know what? I'd argue Shaman's no, better. No, he's not that bad. He no. is that bad. He is that bad. Fine. He is that bad. He is trash. Now Pheasant Dippity, though. Also trash. But... Okie dokie. I don't think Okie dokie is the best one, man. Actually, I don't know. I think this one's the best because it's got Technician. And it's Poison Fairy, you know, a also, really good type. Also that, you know what, it's going back here. No. It's above Calyrex, but that's it. 
I don't think Fast and Deputy deserves to be in E tier. I think Fast and Deputy deserves to be in D tier. Put him put him there. Yeah, like I was saying, like around here, because I don't think Masper's better than Fast and Deputy. Well, I think Guzzler's better than Fast and Deputy. Just put it there, please. Now, where are we putting? Where are we putting Ogre Pond? Not S. There is a Ogre Pond that should be an S. What tier is normal Ogre Pond? What tier is the, uh, Teal Mask? Oh, no, it's not good. But it does let him have a held item, right? And it has Defiant. So, like, about here? No. Here. That's a good place to put Ogre Pond. No. Really? And also... All of them can have held items. No. Because we Yes, get... you change the form with... What? Dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> so, no. Not at all. You are so wrong. <laughs> Okay, whatever, I don't care anymore. I just want to be done with this fucking tier list. I'm so bored. Yeah, I do want to play something after this, maybe. Isn't this the one that's in... Uh, oh no, it's the fire one. Alright, you can finish this. I actually, I have to go for longer this time, so... Alright. Well, see ya. Lovely attack on my arm. Yay. But anyways. You're playing the soundboard. <laughs> okay, now he's done. Anyways, I think Wellspring... Should be above Genesect, below Arceus Electric. I think that fits. Then, Ogre Spawn... Or Ogre Pawn, uh... Hearth Flame, definitely above Mega Mewtwo X, in my opinion. It's got one, f uh... It's this... It. I can't describe it. Maybe, mainly Ivy Cudgel. All I know is that it's just good. We have the cornerstone mask. Slight uh better than Terrakion, not better than Latias. There we go. Right there. Gouging fire. Very solid threat. Top of B tier. Actually, isn't it? Uber? No, it's Oyo. Okay. So then I'm completely fine with putting it here. Also, I'm moving the Necrozma down because Necrozma is not that good compared to a lot of these other Pokemon. I would argue Necrozma is below Entei. That's how bad Necrozma is. So we're booting Necrozma down big time. But I wish he was better though. Also, I am a liar that it's not a take on my art, but anyways, Raging Bolt time! Yay! Bottom of A tier, Raging Bolt. Uh, let's take one look at Raging Bolt and let's find out why. You know, you got Protosynthesis as his ability, fast move pool. It does show competitive footage. And you'll see why Gouging Fire is worst in A tier. The Iron Boulder? I would put him. I would put him below Hoopa Unbound. I'm also gonna move Deancey's down, like, drastically to, like, below Iron Leaves. And I'm just above Stack Attacka. And I'd also move Stack Attacka below Volcanion. And Volcanion below Deancey. And Bikini above Stack Attacka. Stack Attacka above. Or, yeah, Stack Attacka is actually not super good. So yeah. I wish Stack Attacker was better though, but he's not. It's just garbage. 
Iron Crown. Iron Crown is above Iron Boulder directly. In fact, Iron Boulder is actually going to be below... Cresselia. No, below Darkrai. We got Terrapagos. Yeah, that's a good place to put Terrapagos in my eyes. I'm not super well versed into, well, Terrapagos, but actually, you know what? No, if we're just using this form and you can't transform at all, where did that Terrapagos go? Terrapagos is right here. Then Terrapagos would be right here. Also, we're moving Kubfu over. We'll move a Terrapagos right here. We're moving actually Regice behind Shaman. Regice is not good. And we got this. Busted. Very good. It's just the boss of this of these games. Actually, you know what? Right here. That's a good place to put Stellar Terror or I don't know the form name. Then we got Pekaron. I'd argue Iron or Pekaron is just behind Iron Leaves. And that is the tier list of every single legendary mythical ultra beast and paradox. So yeah, that's about it.